<laughs> oh, were we not supposed to be dancing, man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what should we get? What should we get? Yeah, one more time. One more time. What's good, guys? What's going yeah. on? I forgot who made that. Somebody in the uh, in the pulse chain chat. Posted that up. I was like, cool. I'm going to take, take that. that. <laughs> yeah, that's so Bro, I'm that's such solid. a hoarder when it comes to like hex memes and stuff. I yeah. find like, I'll take that video. I'll take that GIF. I'll put this in. Yeah. 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 Just, my my, fa- my favorite is that dude that's drowning. He's like, oh, 10% down. He's like, and his, his whole body <laughs> plus 900%. <laughs> Let's say what's up to everyone. Mark Avelli, how you doing? Piston Broke. Valley of Fran, Crypto Orange, One Bagger. Sandy, all the regulars. Right, well, hey, oh, you haven't been here for in a while. Faceless Alexander Crypto Hut, Nardo, how you doing? One bagger, Hexander, Crypto Hut, he's been doing some some good pulse work lately. Yep. Uh, Flames, Balliot, Rick Schmitz, <laughs> Balliot. What Brand. is going on? <laughs> Brand, you're here too. How are you? Wait, if you're here, then how are you? No, I'm Streamception, Streamception, right. the Matrix. What's up, boys? We're getting a big green dildo today, or what? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. The you could say it's over. Mm. Ooh, you could say that. You could, but we don't know when the sacrifice phase is yet. So I do. I'm oh, four more weeks. What do, do what, yeah. what, wait? What does the audience have to do to get the the pulse release date? You got <laughs> yeah, to set a bar, just like just like we did with uh, look into crypto's channel. We got about give this. Us, if you guys can get me to five thousand subs, <laughs> I, I'm at where are you at right now? Four thousand. I'm at 4, oh yeah, 000. totally I hit, doable. I hit four thousand totally on the dot, like just today before the stream, like even four thousand. I was like, cool. Nice. Uh, but anyway, yeah, if we can get to five k, I will personally see to it that the sacrifice phase happens tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, call Richard and I'll say, hey man, I know you were. I got five k subscribers. <laughs> you got to release it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, I don't make the rules. Yeah, I'm gonna call. Coming. That's bro. I mean, hey, new day, and basically right now it's like if you look at the chart, we either blast past the six point five level or we we get rejected right here. Um, but like you guys were saying, somebody somebody was dumping right, some single guy. Yeah, there's there's uh, so there's one one major liquid bag right now that's got around a little over two hundred million hex that's been slowly uh, selling out of his position. That's why. We continue to fluctuate between like six cents and like five point five cents. Yeah. Do you know how much he's selling? Like, is he selling just a million at a time? A uh, few, few million. A few million. million. A There's a couple of smaller bags that have been just doing like million sales. Uh, but that's, the, that seems to be the smarter play. Like, if you're gonna, if you have that much coin, just do just drip a million at a time or half a million. Like, what are you doing? Doing three, four million? That's kind of dumb. That's what he's been yeah. doing. About like six two, six three. He'll he'll sell. He'll drop back down to six five nine, and then he just rides it back up, and he just keeps he's doing the toying same with thing. it. He just yeah. like it's his little like toy. Yeah. How about Real Vision though? Crypto Hut, yeah. Real Vision uh basically had a as far as I understand, a tweet about hacks. Hex blew it over by a landslide. Landslide victory, like 70% for hacks. And then they took it down, I think. Did they take wonder, it down? Yeah, really? I wonder, I wonder yeah, how that happened because I was watching it and we were getting our asses kicked. And then like all of a sudden we were ahead by like it was like 76% to like 10%. I was just like yeah. Yeah. Maybe we are bots. Yeah, we sent all the we, yeah, we sent all the bot traffic over there. Um, <laughs> Send in the bots. They made but a new one on YouTube. They made a new one, yeah, and we're like getting our ass kicked by Cardano, which is not cool. So, guys, get over to YouTube. Cardano, <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't leave. Our our bots versus their bots. We could take out the Russians. Miracle on ice happened. We can do it. <laughs> They got Russian bots, bro. That's why. That's the only reason they're ahead right now. Yo, the government admitted UFOs exist, and they actually have UFOs. I saw that. And no one cares. The new, the newest UFO, UFO footage of like the sphere that, like, oh my god, it's so crazy. Should we play it? Can we pull it up? Yeah, I think think we can. Not even just that. The U.S. just admitted as well that they actually uh, they patented a spacecraft that looks like a Dorito. I shit you not, it's a Dorito. Yeah, Yeah. two thousand (laughs) four. Two thousand four. 
they've been citing these things like everywhere for years and people have been saying it's like oh it's bullshit it's fake it's fake you know it's fake pictures and everything no turns out to be real turns out to be like the new self bomber except it's 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 through grab it's through like mag magnetism it floats the fuck, I don't know about, I don't know about that I, I, I don't know no, if that's what, know what that is <laughs> Yeah, the breaks. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see this shit. <laughs> right, so so one thing, okay. one thing I am interested in, though, I am interested in UFOs. Like, I love a good UFO video. And uh, here's a crazy one about San Diego. It just came out a week ago. So, and it's always the Air Force that gets these. Um, it seems to be at least. And it's just what they you say they are. Like, hold on, I'm pulling it up right now. Long ass ad. But yeah, they're just unidentified, so it's like it doesn't necessarily mean aliens, but like I want it to be aliens, obviously. Yeah, uh, probably oh, not. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is the one. This is the one. Hold on, it's coming. Those pulses mm -hmm. are coming. I promise. <laughs> Shut up, Bob it's Lazar. just like just like the sacrifice phase. It's right around the corner. Um. Okay. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do share. Share audio. Here we go. Oh, you guys drinking today? Alcohol, sparkling uh -oh. water. Uh -oh. bad. <laughs> sparkling water. Got a few drinks. <laughs> all right, all right. I figured it out. Sorry for had a boomer moment real quick. Um, here we go. Aliens. On a pitch black right. the coast of California, newly leaked video allegedly shows one of the U.S. Navy's stealth ships tracking an unknown object in the sky. And after a few minutes, what was splashed. 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 Mark bearing a range. The 2019 footage obtained by filmmaker Jeremy Corbell, who last month released another video of an upside pyramid UFO hovering above a Navy destroyer. This is part of a much larger series of events that we're going to be learning about. The Pentagon confirming the video was taken by Navy personnel. The image is now being reviewed by a government Molly, task do you know anything about this? set to brief Congress next month on what they call... Yeah, bro, we film shit like this all the time. <laughs> it's literally unidentified objects. That's unidentified that's flying what objects. UFOs stand for. Every day. Yeah, but it's cool. Every day for yeah. at least a couple of years. Former deputy... Probably not. Oh, okay. so, you, so you know the second one you just saw, the one that looked like a like, like a like a triangle, that actually is U.S. Tech. The, the, yeah. Okay. That's pretty. That cool. legitimately, they admitted that already. Like so like some new ago. propulsion shit. Yep. Two days ago. Wow. And that is 2004 tech. What? 2004 Dude. tech. Yeah. It just makes that me means, think, I, look, you know you know why I was like wondering like all right so it's like the United States was advancing so cool and then st the stealth the stealth bomber right and then nothing. I mean that that's that's how it goes with all our military stuff you guys don't see like our latest and greatest military weapons and aircraft until they're like over a decade old yeah. honestly after all the yeah. testing and um, R and D goes through them like you don't see it until they're over a decade old yeah. Oh, I'm gonna become I don't a know singer. how that relates to crypto, oh, but I'm looking up Dorito Possible. ship now. Flying, flying <laughs> <Cito. laughs> Dorito stock is gonna go way up after this. Uh, it's like how everybody. Do you have, a, do you have like a link or something? Yeah. With, uh, what the fuck? Uh, flying no, Dorito. It's, like, yeah, it's kind of like how Ethereum. You remember the stock ETH? It also stands for like Ethan Home Furniture or something like that, and it was like. The the stock for ETH went way up because people thought they were buying Ethereum. Yeah, I give up looking on up? this. I just give up on this Dorito ship. Like, remember in 2017 when uh, what was that Long Island Ice Tea Company? Like, they renamed themselves Long Blockchain, and it was just like they they named themselves no. Long Blockchain. <laughs> It was it was in the news just to get uh, their stock price to go up because everybody was hyping everything up about blockchain. So Kodak did the same thing. Just some yeah, just some dumb shit. Twenty seventeen. Everyone's talking about aliens in the chat now. Government confirming UFOs is incredibly sus. Makes me not believe anymore. Ooh shit, that's that's a meta conspiracy. U.S. stole everything from Germany. Yep, we definitely took all their rocket scientists. That's a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. During their, their V rocket or um, 
was it their v essentially their their continental uh ballistics program we pretty much took all their all their scientists they all defected over to the u.s yeah all the good ones hey uh, uh real quick for black label expat uh you can dm me on telegram i don't normally like encourage it but uh go ahead and dm me on telegram if you've got a couple of questions um crypto coffee 369 on telegram and uh happy to help if i can but yeah guys i don't know what to say man pulse can't come fast enough what are we going to do for it maybe we go around like everyone's strategy right start with you molly I'm not talking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. hey, it's like unless you don't want to, yeah. And no, it's like a, it's right. Like how much, how much you actually release, right? How much alpha do you give out? Because once you give out too much, then it's no longer alpha. So, I mean, pretty basic stuff for everyone, though, right? So look at what Hex's price is doing right now. We're like almost at six point three cents. So like we've been saying for for weeks, months now, buy your hex bag now, ride the pump up, and we're already seeing it without even the release of uh, the sacrifice phase. Just imagine what's going to happen once the sacrifice phase goes through. Well, I've been saying it for a while now. We'll hit that eight to ten cent mark pretty quickly, and then that puts us in top three crypto. So maximize your USD value by riding the pump up with hex. It's clearly performing better than anything else in the market right now. So why not keep the coin that we all love and hold dear to our hearts after that yeah. it's just it just really comes down to the mechanics of the sacrifice phase i'm sure we can go into detail about it a little bit later but essentially how much are you going to allocate to the sacrifice how much are you going to keep of your liquid hex bag because you also are going to get a duplication of it once the snapshot goes through so you got to find that healthy balance because hex is probably going to go somewhere between 20 and 30 cents during the sacrifice phase as well so you want to Make sure you have an allocation of pulse and hex throughout this. You don't want to go full balls deep in, the, in one or the other would be my recommendation. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely like if you're brand new, maybe I would go like 50, 50, 50 hex, 50 percent pulse. Just so you get your, your even percentage of both. And they're both going to do great, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know how this guy got in here, but what's going Sell on? Sell everything. Sell <laughs> oh. everything. Shit, you're remarkable. It. Hi. So good. <laughs> good. Give us your pulse strategy. I okay. I don't. No joking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I just from the beginning. You can hear me right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah you sound good. I, yeah, we can hear I you sound good. a bit different in my phone headphones, but all right. Um, I just had a um a set USD amount from the beginning on, and it never changed. So that's what I'm going to do. And probably a little bit more as the price goes up. <laughs> but at least that. And from then on, I'm fine. It's the same thing that I always do. like, um, uh, Or what I've always been doing with Hex. Like, I go for a least amount of stress. So I mm -hmm. just go in with a fair amount and not too much because I know Hex will perform. And Pulse is just fun. <laughs> So I, I just do that and uh, yeah, yeah. See, see what happens. <laughs> Sit back and relax. Yeah, it's a good strategy. I'm kind of with you on that. Like I'm not, I'm really excited for Pulse, but it's more of a side investment, and I don't think it's gonna overtake my hex bag. You know, I, it's not like people get this idea of oh, Richard Hart's like dropping hex for Pulse. It's like it's, uh, Pulse is gonna be like the layer underneath that it runs on. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you drop Hex and just run to Pulse. Like you need Pulse oh, in no. order for Hex to be amazing and for Hex to reach its full potential, which I think it can go, you know, double digit dollars easily in, I don't know, four years, five years, who knows? But uh, I think it can get there, but it can't get there if you're paying crazy high Ethereum fees. So I heard um, 10 bucks in four weeks. Sounds pretty accurate. Seems about not, right. not financial advice. I see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but I mean, Pulse has that same opportunity if the ecosystem gains adoption, right? Like it's it's the same thing. Just imagine like any of these when Ethereum launched, when Cardano launched, when any of these chains launched. There's an amazing upside. You just had to be patient, and it was all about adoption, building up the community around it. So like we've already started that. I think Pulse Pulse Chain chat has what like thirteen thousand. 
people in it already, a and a lot of them are completely 15, new. Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand yeah. now. Yeah, so it goes. Yeah. It's going up by thousands, and you can tell a lot of those people in there are new, and some of them haven't even heard of Hex. So the yeah. it's starting. It's starting to grow on its own. That's good. <clears throat> well, it's also an opportunity for uh, to build. There's all sorts of cool. I was, I've been putting a lot of thought into this, and on Pulse Chain, you could actually use that as a hub to build all sorts of financial products on top of Hex. Yeah. Um, I know in, in earlier, uh, for anybody that was watching a lot of uh, Discourse Syndicate, there was some really good, uh, there's some really good alpha that DC had in there at the time. That's um, one of the ideas that's actually playing out in the community now. But just think about all the DeFi, like the whole market around DeFi, the reason why it's so massively successful is because it's all based around incentives. So if you look at something like Lightning Network, that never took off because it's it's not an, in an incentive-based system. Hence, the liquidity on Lightning Networks is extremely low. However, what we've seen with DeFi, and even if you look at the launch of uh, something like Binance Smart Chain, the reason why it pulled in so many users is it basically created another network that uh, used basically the whole incentive structure around DeFi um, to pull in basically a, a lot of interest. So uh, you can basically have that kind of scenario play out and then use Hex as like a, it, it could basically become a, a very strong form of collateral that's used in that system, depending on what actually gets built on top of it. So, because the, the strongest assets on the planet, they end up, um, they end up getting collateralized like that to a smaller extent. You have that with, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum today, but the potential is so massive on Pulse Chain, in my opinion. Why, why so does it make it easier for for Hex to become collateralized on Pulse Chain, or is, uh, it, is that not what you're I, saying? I uh, know that's that uh, that that is that is what I'm. So I'm almost kind of hinting at uh, you can create with since the since the fees are going to be really low, you can introduce uh, basically leveraged markets, so you can have. Uh, hmm. leverage trading you could have people try to short and then get and then die on the, on the yeah. price chart that's so there's all yeah. sorts, there's all that's, sorts of and good that's things something that we do. know we know that's in progress the shorting the, yeah. the 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 derivatives market essentially and i wouldn't be surprised if because they've been working on it you know working on it for a long yeah. ass time now and i wouldn't be surprised if maybe they're just waiting to drop it on the new chain That'd be awesome. Some, yeah. Someone on really Twitter, cool. someone on Twitter uh, did a poll when when they thought like leverage trading for hex would be released, mm -hmm. and I think the majority of the poll was 2021. Let's see. Makes sense, I guess. I, I don't know if they were using DYDX <laughs> as their platform or like synthetics or something like that, but it it seemed like the platform they were using, if it was DYDX, yeah, the fees would absolutely destroy any like mm -hmm. relatively new retail guy. Yeah. So That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do IDX has a minimum of like 0.2 ETH to even ETH. get in or 0.1 ETH to even get into it? So it's like, I think it's one ETH, isn't it? I'm pretty sure you have to uh, deposit one ETH for their margin trading. It's maybe. been a while since I set up wallets for the airdrop, so my yeah, memory it was might a be a little time, rusty, yeah. but I think it's I think it's one Ethereum for margin trading. Yeah, that's a lot. There's that that's a that's that's actually even aside from. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, DeFi that's been very much negatively affected by the gas fees. Yeah. Like I know synthetics, that's one that there's no new users coming in because it's too high right. of a barrier to entry. So this is really good. I'm pretty, I'm really excited for this. So the the other thing that's pretty interesting is uh, if you start building out like a derivatives based market, you could also introduce ways for um and and by the way if you end up doing this in the future it's ultimately on you to manage like your risk ultimately because you do have obviously like liquidations and that kind of stuff but uh, it yeah. introduces ways where you could borrow <clears throat> against like your assets and then in theory that just leverages the system where people can buy back hex which then in terms basically ends up causing ways to like pump the price because like even even bitcoin ethereum those are massively <laughs> leveraged and whales um whales use that to the to their advantage to really pump up the price but but it is like you really have to be careful if um if yeah we don't we don't like actually advise it but people are going to do it no matter what and so yeah like i would never tell somebody to go leverage trade but <laughs> i i know that some portion of ha people in hacks no matter what you can scream mm -hmm. at them all day long and they're still going to do it um so taking leverage short positions 
yeah, allows people to get, get liquidated. Maybe they'll learn the hard way, right? And maybe they'll turn into a long-term holder quicker if they get liquidated. I'm not saying I want anyone to get really, really wrecked, but mm -hmm. it took me losing a, you know, some, some thousands to actually not be a, want to be a trader anymore. Uh, Crypto Hut said, did Binance make it difficult for no coiners? That's actually an interesting point. Uh, so I, I really hate to say this, but the reason that a lot of people are using Binance is because of the low fee ecosystem and the, and the fact that it's actually working. Like right. the Binance smart chain works and everything built on top of it is pure dog shit for the most part. <laughs> but that's the reason, like that just goes to show you that's a great case study for, hey, they kind of forked Ethereum. They made it all private and they, they basically tried to copy a lot of other projects and they did a lot of things, I guess, wrong with their fork, mm -hmm. right? It yeah. was a very permissioned fork. It wasn't free and open for everyone, but it was cheap and fast and it is cheap and fast. And I'm not saying go over there, but... It goes to show you that you can have the biggest dog shit projects on your on your chain over there, <laughs> and people are still going to trade if it's if it's if it's good, they, good experience. Yeah. Right. Do they already have a project called dog shit? I wouldn't <laughs> That's be surprised. It's coming up. It's coming. Bro, <laughs> dude, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Those shit. <laughs> they got a lot of weird names. I would surprise you. But that I got I got more friends on um, uh, like in real life that have um, transacted on the Binance chain than I have people. Uh, understanding Ethereum. Mm, damn, <laughs> that's sad. Like, that that just yeah, but it shows that if if there's something to buy, they will figure out how to buy it. Like, mm -hmm. yep. If that's the first thing that you learn uh, how to get on Binance Chain, then that's just the first thing you learn. That's crypto for you, then, right? So it's it's not even yeah. Um, like yeah, it's not the the best, but people will do it. And Pulse Chain makes it really easy. So if you have, for example, all those other uh, projects that are not usable right now because of the fees, they literally just get a copy as well. So they're like, yeah, here's your second chance. Let's go. And they will definitely at least accept the, the offering and, and check out Pulse Chain and see what it can do. And then they will find out, oh, it's also faster and cheaper and it's it's uh yeah it, it gets more fun crypto gets more fun if you have no fees yeah especially when so you're buying fucking tokens called bunny pancake fucking fart pickle swap you think <laughs> just as many you think just as many so much fun rug pools will be on post chain yep yeah, i worry right. about we that can't, we can't yeah, you can't really yeah, that's a great point and let's just give everyone a warning right now P scammers are gonna scam so Poppy, paul chain yeah. <laughs> I know Motley's well, already planning. Uh, scamming, you know, yeah. Pulse I'm actually building a casino on Pulse Chain, house, so get ready. Come, coin. It's, come it's, play. It's going, it's going to house be wins house, every house time. Coin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Just be careful there, guys. The, the place where the house wins. <laughs> All like the time. <laughs> we, will, we will win your house. <laughs> uh, I mean, Archibald does. House, people. He does bring up a good point as far as, you know, onboarding people and. Sometimes, yeah, people see, like at the at the height of the ETH fees, like hundred dollar fees, stuff like that, and so that might be a turnoff. But things like Pulse are definitely going to uh, mediate that solution for sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, first of all, uh, mm -hmm. thank you Hex Nineteen for the tip, man. Very much appreciated. Uh, but unfortunately, I cannot. The give answer's you a no. Answer to that. <laughs> Four weeks. It's like, give me that insider information, coffee. I, I, I really the, the, mo the most insider thing I know is just what little tidbits Richard Hart drops in his live streams. And from what I understand, it's like it could be released now, but he's trying to make it even better. Like he he mentioned trying to add Monero to the sacrifice phase, and that was taking mm -hmm. some time. Yeah. If I had if I had to give it my best guess, between one and two weeks from now, right? But you know, it's just, just more time to build the hype, right? Three Coffee, days. <laughs> Coffee did Three say days. if you got him to 5K subs, he'll personally go to Richard's house and make him launch it. So Four days. Sorry. Four days. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's actually true. Yeah. I'll do my so, best. Um... <laughs> just hear Richard's doorbell ring on his streams and, like, you just come on screen. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just got a tweet like right now. <laughs> Sacrifice three hours. Pump it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I wouldn't say everyone's going to make scams. I guess some projects might be legit on Pulse Chain, but I would say the ratio will be 
probably I mean, nine, nine we're, to one we're, or something. We're copying over yeah. the entire ecosystem besides yeah. like two copycats of Hex. So we already know there's some. Oh, uh, you already have trash. Less, yeah, yeah that's less true. than yeah, all right. <laughs> projects we're copying over. So it is what it yeah. is. Yeah. Well, there's going to be copied and then new projects. Um, I don't think a lot <laughs> of the copied rugged. projects. <laughs> You get rugged on one and then go to pulse shows like go for your second shot like maybe I'll yeah, 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 on this yeah. one. Run, <laughs> or run, you run, like run and run. like yeah. try to sell your coins <laughs> <laughs> real quick <laughs> you guys you guys pee safe moon pee safe, moon. <laughs> pee safe moon. so now if you, if you get rugged you get rugged on two platforms then That's well no it would take effort you'd have to manually rug the other platform yeah but if you were the if you were the wouldn't scammer. you like if you're rugging like of course you're going to rug both they're like, whoa, sure. five thousand dollars just went into the pulse chain version of our shit. Rug it. Yeah. Pull it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. People right, are gonna do that. It's, it's like a little blip and then just dead. <laughs> just dead. And then the users will will make sure that the other one get gets rugged because everyone will sell on that one. <laughs> yeah. I don't see a lot of these uh copies gaining a lot of traction. Um yeah. but I would love for the the legitimate projects to come over. That'd be amazing. But I can't see it right away. Why not? There, there's there's some stuff going on in that other pulse chat, which I don't think we're at liberty to talk about. But there's some stuff to help with gaining gaining adoption that Richard mentioned recently. Yeah. Well, when I say right away, I mean like the first month. I mean, I, I do see right. like in six months, one year. I think there's going to be a lot of marketing and behind the scenes work going on. Like I actually know for a fact there's people or no, there's an organization that's going to be uh you know trying to get people's attention and whatnot so um so yeah i, I do feel pretty optimistic about the future of it right but i just don't think that uh it's gonna happen right away yeah of course things need to be tested as well for people to really trust it but that thing will be and like it's kind of like an exponential thing right where the first ones are going to be slow, but once people understand how powerful it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really just got to experience it. Like, you know, if it's anything like Matic and Matic. Was yeah, kind exactly. Of glitchy. Yeah. Ma Matic was a little bit buggy. And if and I still love that uh, just for the fast fees. But then it's like, OK, now you have to bridge and bridging kind of sucks. So really what you want is instantaneous layer one solutions. I mean, we've had optimism out for a while now. I don't think anybody's. I haven't heard of anybody using optimism like easily. Yeah, uh, maybe I'm just not. What? They're uh, they're the, their devs are just they're kind of far behind. Um, the, the thing with op, like there's there's optimism and then there's another one like Arbit Arbitrum or something like that. But um, the devs on optimism just keep like giving bad. They just keep lying about timelines. So now uh, the market's experimenting with all the layer two. Um, solutions that exist and then um and then i guess free market will kind of converge on what they think is the best yeah. which is going to take a really long time i've got a Sounds question like the from doors open for pulse chain <laughs> question from limon ortega so he doesn't understand why we need another token a pls token rather than making pulse hacks the native token uh it's because as far as i understand it right Hex is a contract built on top of a blockchain. So you can't possibly have Hex be the contract, the, the blockchain token, because it's it's isolated and locked in a smart contract. So it's one layer abstracted away from the base chain. And as far as I understand it, you don't necessarily need a, a token at all for your for your blockchain. Like you can have a, a hyperledger situation where there's just a blockchain of nodes validating themselves and whatever, but that really hasn't gotten any traction and that's not what attracts people in the real world uh people in the open public blockchain world not the private blockchain world they want a token because like uh wasabi was saying earlier you want incentives right so people are attracted to the token because they think it's going to go up in price and then also uh, it's just a way of paying gas fees right so you, you do need a way of actually incentivizing people to be stakers in the system and in order to be to want to be a staker you have to get something of value for your sacrifice right so you're sacrificing your stake by foregoing the ability to spend it and in return you want to get something of value but that thing of value can't just be more hex because again hex is in a separate contract right so like it, it you're building this whole underlying ecosystem and i just don't think it's that simple 
I hope I'm explaining that right. I don't know if anybody well, could do a better it, job. It, it doesn't even matter too, right? Like someone mentioned it earlier, it just goes against the tokenomics of what Hex is anyways. It's not like a utility token that we're using for the chain. It's it's just monetizing your time. It's just a time lock token that just pays you interest via its inflation. There's no sense in making it the native token. Like it, it wouldn't be Hex anymore at that point. Economically, it wouldn't make sense either. You want the focus on the narrative on Hex just as it is right now and if you if you're going to use it for the whole uh for the whole ecosystem of pulse it doesn't really no adoption work. no and and yeah. also it, it incentivizes people to to not stake it for the long time because you can do all kinds of other things with it and i would rather just have another coin mm. yeah. yeah it's yeah. also like a play to sorry it's a play to decouple you know the idea of pulse from hex and say hey look pulse chain is, is for everybody right it's not just for hex holders anybody can come over here obviously the hex holders are going to be the first people on it but we want to be you know coin agnostic too but you, but you need a you need a, chain, a token for gas if you want people to participate in a public blockchain and pulse right. is the gas token that's exactly but, what i was going to say i like that we're separating ourselves from hex specifically where there's not like like richard had mentioned there's not going to be one like major advantage or any advantage for hexagons or you know anyone else on Ethereum for Pulse Chain. It's going to be separate, and that's already been helping a lot with like the gatekeeping that Hex had. I mean, you guys mentioned fifteen thousand. Like a lot of the people in the Pulse Chain chat, they they're new, they're interested, they're curious. So it's going to be uh, really cool to see the community grow. Astro Geo is confused. I'm a little confused about this one too, bro. Is it 10,000 10, pulse for every one USD <laughs> or 1,000 pulse? For, no, it's definitely not no, 10,000 pulse. Not, for each it's, it's none of them. It's 10,000 to one pulse to ETH supply. So yeah. what ETH supply now is 10,000 X of that. It's just a 10,000 to one ratio of pulse to ETH. Um, so it has nothing to do with how much pulse you're going to get. You're only going to get a one to one ratio as of now that might change for your pulse to ETH. Um, and then as far as entering into the sacrifice phase, it will, as of now, be based off the USD value of the token you're throwing in there. So how much, however, whatever the total USD value that you're throwing into the sacrifice phase, and I think they're doing like a weighted average over like 30, a 30 minute time period of when you put the coins into the sacrifice chamber, but it's gonna be strictly based off the USD value. That 10,000 to one has nothing to do with how much pulse or ETH you're going to get, it's just the supply ratio of pulse to ETH. Yeah, but the ten thousand one is also mentioned in the sacrifice phase, as in, you know, sacrifice phase users will get a ten thousand one ratio, uh, or ten thousand x more, you know, relative to what they would just get by holding and getting the one for one copy. The the ten thousand was based on the Ethereum circulating okay. supply. So yeah, gotcha. so you're, so you're. You're gonna get a one for one copy of Ethereum. So it means like you're not gonna get 10,000, you're gonna get one Ethereum, you're gonna get one pulse. Just enough to transact. Yeah. 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 If you one if you got if you got 0.74 ETH, you're gonna get 0.74 pulse. Very, very exactly. simple. If you do nothing. And that's gonna be more than enough because it's probably gonna cost you 0. 0.00001 like to do any transaction. It's probably gonna be dirt cheap. Like if this is what I'm I'm pretty sure. But the 10,000 to one, like if you, if you go in the sacrifice phase based on your dollar value, I think that has to be converted into, you know, ETH at the end of the day, right? Or is that not even relevant at all? Wait, like say that again. Is yeah, the 10,000 to one ratio relevant to the sacrifice uh, lobby, sacrifice no, phase? No, no, no. Okay. Well, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's, so it's just going to take the total, total amount of USD value entered in there. And then just based off what your percentage of that USD value entered, then you uh, get the, that amount of tokens allocated. That's all it is. Thank you. That's so great. Be relative. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's but why? Yeah. So yeah, let's I'm say really there's a million dollars in the, the total, and you put in ten thousand of those dollars, you would get one percent. One percent. I think that math is right of of the coins. Right. You would get one percent of the new newly minted pulse supply that's available for sacrifice people. But ten, then there's that'd be worth fifteen billion coins. There's other billion. stuff they've thrown out there too, though with the dow and the treasury and so yeah. like we, <laughs> yeah. we might the sacrifice chamber might not have access to 100 percent of the tokens there might be some other stuff they've been talking about um even the one-to-one -one ratio of getting your erc20 or pulse to eth even the, that's been maybe talked about changing so you guys want some sauce 
What? Sure. You guys want some You have my attention. You want some DC right. talks? That, that was a hit. <laughs> I won't go any further than that. All right. So DC I, might lay it out there. I don't I don't know if this counts towards all the other coins because it, it's going to be Hex that's going to be sacrificed as well as a bunch of other coins. But this came out of Richard's mouth that he said that <laughs> the, the Hex that we sacrifice will more than likely be put into the Grayscale Fund. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I, I heard I, that yesterday. I was, I, was th- I was thinking something else. Was it? Okay. And they're probably going to put into 15-year stakes and then collateralized and then sold as sh- as shares to to the investors that get into Pulse. I mean, not in Pulse, I'm sorry, into the, into the Grayscale Hex Fund. That is the most bullish thing I've ever heard in my life. Yep. Um, uh, I should really... I, I, should, you guys. I should really even read that, that, that hearing that you're getting more. a copy of Hex. I don't even know if we're supposed to be like no. discussing that chat. So that's why I'm like, uh. yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's actually Me some. Either. There's actually some new. What chat really, are you guys talking about? Really good stuff in there. The second polls chat. Man, you didn't even get the joke. Man, forget you, Motley. Fuck, yeah. dude. You can't even get a hint, bro. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anna Kappa says uh, Richard's buttocks stuffs might be more valuable than what we are all trying to strategize. Sure bet is to do what he say. I don't know what buttock stuffs are. It's putting it's putting Botox yeah. into your butt, evidently. I think that's what <laughs> it was. Richard Hart said <laughs> literally <laughs> this, this, is, this is verbatim what he said, like have a third of each. Third pulse, third hex, third pulse sex. Done. That's what he said. Hmm. Yeah. He said if you were a new new person coming in with a stack of money, that's what he would yeah. recommend. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, which would mean, yeah, which would mean half and half, and then you'd have like, eh, never mind. Well, what about a guy that could buy a basketball team? What, like, what, like, what, what are we talking about here? Sell the basketball team, buy Bulls. By China, China will probably buy it. <laughs> it has been nice having a little bit of extra time before the sacrifice because I had you know a couple of stakes kind of ending uh, today and. Anyways, it's been nice to get a little extra capital for that because we don't know what's going to go on, but I know anything that Richard Hart does is is solid. It's legit. And especially from like a new project, it's definitely going to go up in value. Yeah, well, no guarantees, right? But probably, definitely. Mathematical advice. Can you answer uh, Christian's question real quick? Where are we in chat? Let me see. I'm so far behind. Blue C. Can I sell my T-shares separate from my hex when my stakes are done? Don't not go away. Not, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe. No, no, no. no, when your stake is done. No, when, the, when your oh, stake oh, is oh, done. It's different. Yeah, yeah. They go come, away. <laughs> we, we thought you were talking about <laughs> tradable T-shares, but no. There, so there is a smart contract built to trade staked hex. No one really uses it right now. It's not really interesting to me. It's in, but it's in audit right now still. It's, yeah, it's being audited. People might use it one day. But no, when you, when your stake is done, it's over. Like when your stake is done, you get the hex back, and your t shares are gone, deleted from existence. You know, just gone. When like, when you make when you make your stake, you're literally taking your tokens to the contract. The contract burns them and gives you t shares in place of it. When you go and return your t shares at the end of your stake, the the contract's gonna look at your t shares, calculate how much hex it needs to get back to you. Give you mint you the hex and then burn those t shirts. So those t shirts. That's what's are cool gone. about t shirts because then w- once the t shirts t shirts are gone, no one can ever get them again. So there's a limited yeah. supply of t shirts, right? So w- yeah. the which the the thing that you understand that kind of blows your mind is that it's really scarce. Like these shares are going away one day. Like there will be, we will get to a point where there will be literal just regular shares, and we're all fighting for like the last thousand shares. Fractions you know I mean? of shares. Yeah, and this is might be in like twenty one hundred <laughs> or whatever, but. Uh, <laughs> there, that's why the units are so big, right? So that's why we're talking about trillions of shares because as it dwindles down, we're going to be talking about billions right. and then millions and then I've right. seen, way quicker I've seen, than you realize. Seen, yeah, I was about to say, I've seen oh, B, yeah, we're B already shares come B up shares. already. So. so you have the B shares, but then you're also still at the beginning. So if you if you take on how quickly price will appreciate, man... <laughs> You're going too, to, is it too late to buy these shares are going to get real hard to get like even yeah. so right now right you have a thousand uh dollar per t-shirt or something like that so if you have a 10x it's already ten thousand per t-shirt it's kind of hard to get the t-shirts then already and another 10x hundred thousand a hundred thousand 
It's insane. Yeah. Like within a twenty X, you reach. already you already have a more expensive T shirt than a Bitcoin. That's and, mo and a lot of people can't even get a Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, at, after like, that Grandpa, point, what's what's a Bitcoin? What's a T shirt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be like that meme with like the kids sitting on grandpa's lap. Like, would you Back do during the depression? Day. Can you tell the Bitcoin story again? Back in my <laughs> day, there were t-shirts. Okay, grandma, go to bed. Fucking legend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the total supply of pulse will be allocated to the participants that are counted from SAC and freemium, or no? Mm, I mean, we don't know. Don't don't know. The total supply of the total supply of pulse allocated to the sacrifice participants is TBD, but I think it's going to be some not a hundred percent. Yeah, I think I think there's going to be some sort of allocation for potentially liquidity farming, unless yep. they go with a second token. Um, there could be a treasury, there could be a DAO. There's all kinds of stuff where a certain percentage of the to tokens might not go to the sacrifice phase. So just be aware I of that. We don't know yet, but it's been talked about. So let, let me just simplify. I'll try to simplify the sacrifice phase for Sebastian, like because it is confusing and there's a lot we don't know. Pulse chain's yeah. coming out. The way to get free, basically freemium uh, pulse tokens, is just by holding ETH at the time of the snapshot. That'll give you more than enough than you, than you need to transact freely on the network. If you want an exponentially larger amount of set of pulse token, you can sacrifice a coin, meaning you know you don't ever get it back. You send it to an address, and you can sacrifice any number of coins on a list of popular tokens most erc 20s and, and probably bitcoin and monero and stuff like that but you sacrifice these you don't get them back and in return on the new pulse network you'll have an exponentially larger uh, percentage of pulse tokens what a lot of people are doing is because we're all we all like hacks here a lot of people are buying up hacks with their other tokens sacrificing their hacks because that essentially takes it out of the supply and we're all under pretty much the assumption that the hex that gets sacrificed will just be held for use of positive things in the future or nothing which should be fine it just gets taken out of the system so by converting so, all of our coins to hex we're taking hex out of the supply and we're also getting a lot new a lot of new pulse and uh, hex becomes more scarce in the process and the price goes up in the process so really practical to sacrifice you just send to an address that will be uh listed somewhere by richard hey, don't send it yeah. to an, uh, a, a random address that will be a mess yeah. so oh, watch make out. sure there will the be right scammers one. yeah mm. so if I, no one will message you first when the sacrifice phase comes out you're going to see it on pulsechain.com you'll see it in the telegram channel it'll just be a, very simple like here's the address that you send it to send your stuff here and you'll get some pulse and verify it like three times more times yeah Thanks. i'm definitely gonna do <laughs> yeah. that <laughs> yeah really this is gonna be the scammers are gonna have a field day so basically sacrifice you just send it to an address that you have verified that it's the right one and then five times and like yeah <laughs> a lot of times and then yep. you will get uh probably <laughs> pulse in uh, in return whenever that that starts to happen so it's a pretty simple process yeah I can share my screen real quick and show the the chart um, with the volume phase and then the Toby Wan. Thank you, dude. Well. Thank you for the tip, Toby Wan. We'd love to come on sometime. You'll get the invite, Toby Wan. We got to have you on. Maybe the next one. Thanks, man. Uh, you want me to share that screen, Molly? Yeah, yeah. I'll just go over. I mean, these aren't exact numbers or anything yet. It just gives them an idea. I, I know we've talked about it before, so I'm not going to touch on it too long. We only but... see your telegram. Oh, you can't see it? No. Yeah, you got to zoom in if you can. Oh. Yeah, but he clicks on the pictures, I think. Yeah, you and can't see the pictures. We can't see the pictures. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm not doing it on Telegram then. I could hear someone when in the pictures. background. Yeah, I know. It's my roommate. It's... <laughs> Hold on. He sold his house, so now he has to have a roommate. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough being poor. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. I went car shopping today and I didn't find a single car I liked. They were all out of the Lambos? No yeah. Bugattis. Well, I don't know. I want to look, I want to look at a bunch of different cars and stuff and everything, but I don't know. It's just, 
the cars I wanted weren't out yet, and the ones that are there just was like, ugh. you know. I see your Bugatti, yeah, man. They're, they're still not flying, man. It's annoying. Yeah. No, I was I was looking at uh, I looked at the G, uh, I looked at the GTR and stuff and everything, and like I, I didn't like the front. I actually like the old style of it, but stuff like that. And then I went then I want to go look at the uh, NSX. Uh, looks kind of lame too. <laughs> it wasn't as cool as I thought it was gonna, because like it, it, that, that was like the most hyped car back in the day, and then they made a new version of it, and it's not that cool. I don't know. Yo, hold on a second. I missed a tip. Shit. Sorry, Crypto Hut. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that one, man. Chat. I gotta go back up. Send it in the chat again, Crypto Huts. <laughs> so can, uh, so coffee can rectify his wrongs. <laughs> too much shit going on. I got six people on here, <laughs> but uh, no, it's cool. <laughs> Thank you, Crypto Hut. That that means a lot, man. Yeah, Porsche 911 does look cool though. I haven't looked at I haven't looked at it yet, but basically that's what everyone was telling me. I drove by a Porsche dealership today and I was eyeballing them. <laughs> I saw I the, the one Porsche, man. I What's don't that? I don't really like Porsches. Like, I didn't I don't either, care but about they, Porsches. they've started to grow grow on me a little bit. The new like I think Porsche Carrera not practical, the dude. electric one they have is pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah. I haven't seen that one though. I want to see. I want to see the Dodge Viper that comes out next year. That's gonna be really cool. They haven't made those. The one RG three was talking. The one RG three was talking about had like twelve hundred horsepower. Like after it gets modded, like dude, that's gonna be way too fast, man. I feel like RG three is gonna be in like the Scooby Doo van. I know he's got his like VW (laughs) boss. He's always talking about. (laughs) I'm waiting to see that, dude. <laughs> three streaming that thing from the back. <laughs> Just lives out his van in Puerto Rico. That's funny, dude. Yeah, I couldn't care less about cars. As long as it has good audio and and it drives, then I'm good. Low it has rider. to have good audio. Low rider. Usually, usually always. Can you see me in a low rider? That would be cool. Oh, fuck it. Low rider and shit. <laughs> fucking hydraulics and shit. Fuck yeah. Airbags. <laughs> <laughs> You just see DC's car <laughs> going down the road. <laughs> I, I I was looking at a um. Well, here I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me show you what car I was thinking about buying a, lot, a while ago. But I was like, I just felt weird about it. This is gonna be stupid. <laughs> of course, it's hey. gonna be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's going to have a uh, like a paint job with. Uh, uh, like coin Moses on it. I would really. I'd probably wrap, face, I'd wrap my Moses. car in like hex colors. That would be, be cool. Oh shit! Renegade wingman. I, I don't. Yeah. Car guy over here. He's a car oh, guy. Now, he's now, car? now he's quick with the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta talk to Renegade wingman. Did a consult with DCC. Ten out of ten would recommend. Miguel uh, Bob, shoo! Miguel Bob. What are yeah. Miguel Bob's? Shout out yeah, Renegade. Something, something made up. <laughs> but like, oh. <laughs> right here, baby. You want to get some of these elbows? <laughs> Careful, you don't want to catch those. All right. No, I was I was rowing. I was rowing that weight. Oh. Oh, I saw you that. Yeah, I saw you at the gym. Nice. Yeah. That was, some that was the first time I've done it in a minute, too. Like I like last time before I got hurt and everything. I mean, when I mean after I got hurt, I only attempted it like like two plates, that's it. At most. Dude, I'm just so happy there's no uh, masks at the gym anymore for me. Oh, where I nice. live. I still have masks. Dude. Dude. Oh. I'm finally going to go back <laughs> regularly. I would never go to the gym when you have to wear a mask. It, yeah. I had to. I, pass I'm out, man. Behave, dude. Just go outside. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you want to go outside? In the, oh, I guess I, I can't talk to you because you're used to the cold. He goes swimming in ice baths over here in, in the middle of yeah. the frozen lake. I've seen those videos. Those are crazy. Yeah. No, nah, it's fine. Just, I live just grow out, out your I, beard. It'll keep you I warm. Play, I play uh, ice chess. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you know yeah. Wim Hof or no? Mm-hmm. Wim Hof, ice yeah. Man? Yeah, I've heard of I, him. Uh, we got on a call with him because we, got, we went viral on, in the Netherlands because of the picture of us playing chess in the ice. And um, we might we thought, well, might as well get some... Uh, publicity to to reach the the ice man so eventually we got on a call with him on the radio and we challenged him to uh, do some ice chess with us and so right now he's in in hollywood actually making uh, making a movie but um he said yeah next winter i would definitely want to play some chess with us so not sure if he's going to do it but it would be cool man to play awesome. hey 
That'd be amazing. Make sure you uh, make sure you shell hex real quick if you can. Like, too. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Put up like one that's, of the that's amazing. hex lands it's or like, something it's, on that. Nice. Yeah, it's like sponsored. You have all kinds of banners and stuff. <laughs> what the fuck is hex? What's going on? Yeah. I don't know. We just found this out here in the woods. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That guy has a um, like a uh, industrial freezer in his backyard, like the one yeah. you can just walk around in, and then he just walks you. To, to mimic walking um, or climbing mountains or just walking in, in a really cold conditions, he just walks circles in the industrial uh, <laughs> freezer. It's funny. But <laughs> yeah, get high on your own supply. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Also, it might be a nice way to uh, calm down if you're freaking out about the sacrifice phase. <sighs> yeah. By the way, it gets really annoying because I'm trying to... Um, uh, to book some kind of um, holiday I, mm. I want to go on i want to check out portugal um nice for, for about a month and it's annoying it's because I, i'm like well i'm not going away before a sacrifice happens that's right no i need i need to be there <laughs> yes you do <laughs> it's kind of hard to, to plan anything right so what watch it get released during the the vegas trip when like hundreds of hexagons yeah. are in yeah. vegas Dude, oh my god i've been thinking about that like shit it's like less than the way <laughs> everyone like cancels their tickets and everything like nope can't do it yeah, <laughs> Molly, when, I, when i was in vegas i was so nervous he was gonna do the sacrifice phase on me dude. oh i bet i was I bet. so nervous dude i, I was like I, I i i prepped just in case just yeah <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to teach my girl how to like run all my shit and just like all right i need you to allocate this amount of money on the first day and then you need to be like on standby if i need you to throw more funds in towards the end like <laughs> so the orphan address she she, she emergency ends takes one year i was about to say she'd fuck it up i i would yeah that relationship would be over i feel about this conspiracy theory well i think what the, the the hot tea that was it. just spilled was that it might be used for some kind of a hex scale funding yep right and in that but case yeah, it would be pretty cool. actually used that it well in that case you actually buy the hex right well yeah but you know, said I, that, I, I only heard him say about hex itself saying that the the hex is good sacrifice is going to be used for the grayscale hex fund right. so someone yeah yeah someone alluded to something similar during like the mitch ray live stream where he had richard on that similar to a uh, gunning uh, gummit's point but can't verify that per se yeah no expectations yep whatever it is it's going to be legit we all know that like the the way is going to be well worth it miguel bows <laughs> <laughs> god damn it bah, there you go is that what is that what you do in your consoles you're just sitting there and just dropping no. bows on it no, no, <laughs> It's it's here. Here. <laughs> reallocate your portfolio <laughs> no it, it's because in the in the course i was doing a lot of like you guys it's, it's almost like a teeter-totter it's kind of going back like this so i was doing a lot of this shit and like moving my elbows uh, around so people started fucking saying miguel elbows everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny oh I, I found the car if you could pull up my screen real quick oh yeah Let's for see. sure my bad don't do it Ooh, wow trap. Oh, oh Jaguar? Good. Is that e -type? No, no, Datsun, 1970. Was that a six-speed, something like that? Yeah, it's, it's dude, it's fun. It's nice, dude. I, I saw this car. I was like, I love how they modded it, dude. It looks sick. So the e the e type Jaguar, the old Jaguars look uh, similar body style, and they're so nice. It's it's actually one of my classic cars that I'd like to get. Yeah. Was it was it the Datsuns that had the gas tank in the back that blew up when they got rear-ended, or was it no no that that, that no, wait. I always mix I always mix them up, but it's it's either the Datsun or um fuck Penta was it the Penta? Maybe the Penta. I can't remember. No, no, it was El the the um, not the El Camino. It? El Camino. It may have been the El not, Camino. No, not the El Camino has a truck bed back then. It's yeah, no, but it doesn't mean can't blow up. <laughs> no, it wasn't the El Camino. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Hmm. I mean, I don't even like cars, and I like that car. So it's two forty Z. Well, so yeah, you can't go wrong. Cars, you, can't, you can't go wrong with the classic, classic cars and stuff. I mean, even if you're a low rider, it doesn't matter what you did. If you did a low rider car, you went with some, some I don't know, some um, Chevy yeah. Bel Air or whatever, or anything you, anything old school you did. It's it's gonna look, it's gonna look sick. I'll it be really happy is. with my Tesla, man. I'll, I'll, I'll be it happy the, with that. It was the Pinto. 
the Pentos. The, oh, the Pinto exploded. Yeah. Yep. Because Pentos. they put the engine like way too close to the back. No, it's just the gas tank in the back. So when they got rear-ended, a lot of them caught on fire. Oh, every, ac every accident they got rear-ended, they caught on fire. So <clears> very dangerous yeah. vehicle. Bad luck. Bad design. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can name a few cryptos that were designed that way. <laughs> but uh, let's see. What do we got? Motherfuckers don't trust chat. What? <laughs> I always trust chat for my financial advice. What are you talking about? Yeah, what should I buy now? But if... if if we're being for real in terms of luxury cars, like you probably want the Lamborghini Urus. It's probably the shit you actually could drive around all day and be all right. Mm. Well, if, you're, if you go between a Lambo and a Ur like, like a lot of people fucking like, it actually became the number one selling luxury like luxury SUV in the world instantly as soon as the Lamborghini oh, dropped the Urus. The, S hmm. the SUV uh, Lamb, I saw that. Lamborghini, yeah, the Urus. Urus. Thank Wait, you, Brian. Quick shout right out now. to you, sir. Course. Hey, Coffee, I, sent, I sent some people your way for the course. Dude, thank you, man. I'm sure I'll hey, be paying sure, some sure. affiliate, uh, affiliate programs to you. Yeah, yeah, I was going to sign up and stuff. Sorry, I just been, yeah, I'll sign up probably like tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, if you're sending people my way, you should definitely make an affiliate link. I mean, I, know, I, was, just, I was like, shit, man, like, Coffee, take the money, man. Shit, so I'll yeah, just, thanks, man. Yeah, I'm trying not to make it too expensive, but you know, if you put a little bit of money into something, you're much more likely to finish it, right? So, right, it's pretty. It's a simple it's course. You can get. True. You can finish it in maybe two, maybe a week, right? If you just do a little bit every day, it's not that hard, but uh, it'll really prepare you for just as an absolute beginner how to not lose money. That's the biggest one, and how to think long term and how to just really learn about what you're buying because a lot of people get into hex and they think it's like a trading coin or something. It's the exact opposite. So. Don't yeah, do it the wrong way. Yeah. I I am buying a DeLorean one day, though. Dude, the, no the Lamborghini. Really? I, I just Googled the Lamborghini, uh, the SUV. That the one really? looks sick, dude. It's tight. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks really good. Sure, I'll pull how, it up. How, how much do they go for? What's the MSR? I don't know. I was just looking. 240? 250? 260? Oh, yeah. God. Easy oh, my God, man. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> no, it's more, man. It's more. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, th it's three hundred thousand euros, so that would be like, I don't know, three fifty dollars ish, I guess. One chicken sandwich from McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, it looks good in yeah. yellow. I mean, it looks good in yellow and red. Yeah, man, yellow is nice with the black and then the the yellow highlights. Yeah, that, that... maybe maybe it's just more expensive for you. I'm seeing them start at two twenty, two eighteen. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> targeting, targeting <laughs> one beggar thought I just put. I accidentally pasted an Ethereum yeah. address. Yeah, uh, no, I, I accidentally pasted uh, something, but I I repasted the affiliate link. If anybody wants to be an affiliate, and if you want to onboard a new person and make forty mm -hmm. bucks in the process, then go right ahead. How many chicks you get? I think he's like five, six are just game. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Shit. It's a yeah. 40 40 percent split. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Six supermodels fit in the car. Trust. Hey guys, in the trunk. In the in the car. In the in the, <laughs> the trunk. Can, can well, that's in my caddy. The one that's in, in my your, caddy. Bro. In your Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so Get um. Back the hex, you guys. What? Check them. Get Bren back Brennan, Brennan says he sees uh, coffee's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little turtle, turtle boy. Uh, <laughs> Swimming through the ocean. Uh, uh, to coffee. Can you explain what dual coins means? Richard Hart was talking a lot about one in one of his streams that he's leaning towards dual coins. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't he just mean like a pulse version of every coin and an ETH version of every coin? No, no. He, so he's talking about okay, token. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Let me tell no. you why you're wrong. <laughs> he, he, he was he's considered a two token system, and the main reason for that would be if he decides he wants to do some set up some sort of liquidity farming, and he does he wants something other oh, than pulse yeah. as the incentive. So essentially, some sort of inflationary token that it can use that inflation to pay for the farming, whatever liquidity yeah. farming. And then that helps give value to some of those PRC 20 tokens as well. Right. Because then you'll you'll have to you'll have to buy some pulse. You'll you'll have your PRC 20 provide liquidity and you can go farm whatever the second token would be. And just to clarify, a liquidity farming token is kind of like what sushi is or like what quick was. 
it's just an incentive yeah. to get people to provide liquidity when you have this new ecosystem and you're just trying to bootstrap it basically. So there was talks of maybe making a, a liquidity farming token to incentivize more people to put up liquidity so that it would be a more vibrant place to trade and then pulse token as well. Um, I think you could just make the liquidity token pulse itself, right? But that might not be a good idea. I don't Possibly. know why. It's a, it's a little bit, I don't know. It, it just depends because it is a deflationary token. Um, yeah, it just depends. Yeah. So it'd be like you put up liquidity, right? And for us, uh, one week only, a one week time period, based on the amount of liquidity you pull up, there's, you know, X amount of rewards going out proportional to the year liquidity. That's what we're talking about. So if you've never done a liquidity mining program before, it just means you get rewarded for taking the risk of putting liquidity into a, a brand new pair that might not exist yet or might not be very strong yet on a, on a new chain. Uh, Brizology says Neo has a two coin system. So just holding your Neo produces yeah. their gas coin. So that's the only one that I can remember. Well, yeah, I dabbled, yeah. I dabbled it back in the point. day. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh, here's an easy one. Token X is just an idea for an arbitrary token that doesn't matter at all. That would be what you would get on the Ethereum blockchain in return for sacrificing. So let's say I sacrifice 10,000 hex. I get some number of token X, which I can then redeem for pulse chain token, for pulse token. Right. But th that's actually still being talked about too. There might not even be a token X anymore. There might just be like, an allocation taken from a snapshot of the sacrifice phase and then just assigned to everybody on a certain day. But you know, that would be more like an airdrop. So I think it's a technicality on, on how you do it. Like if you redeem your own token for pulse token, that makes it so that you have to do the work. Uh, if it's an airdrop to people, essentially, uh, you could maybe run into some other legal hurdles. I don't really know. <laughs> it's funny how you have to like finagle the system just to get around some of these, uh, these laws. <laughs> yeah. But X is just a method of getting, of letting people redeem whatever they sacrificed for PLS token. Essentially doing so, the work. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Uh, Crypto Hut says, uh, mentioned the Miami conference. Oh, the, the Bitcoin one? Uh, no, I think it was like shit coins 2021. They invited <laughs> uh, Hexagon to come speak at. You what? Don't, You're you, kidding. You didn't see that? No. No. Yeah, it's called shit like, coins 2021. I think so. Crypto hut. Tell me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but it's like shit coins 2021. Like it's everything, but like Bitcoin and it's just got a bunch of influencers speaking and they invited hexagons to, to come on and speak. No shit. It's yeah. It's called shit coin 2021. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like everyone, but Bitcoin's invited. <laughs> I'm looking up the uh, shitcoin 2021 tickets Thursday, June 3rd, 2021 at 10 a.m. Oh, it's an actual Friday. thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> sure it is. I, was just, I thought we were just joking around. Because yeah. fuck maximalism. Fuck maximalism. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Wait, I want to go now. I want to go there. Uh, I, I, I want to go give the, a talk. Uh, I posted the link in the private chat. Well, it, uh, it, ha it happens around the same time that uh, Gary was talking about going down to that Miami conference. So. If you do, it coincides, I think, around the same time. Oh, no, that's the weekend, weekend before. It's oh, the weekend is it? Before. Oh, yeah. Shit, never mind. Because well, I'm I going to that one. I just to spend a week in Miami. <laughs> all right. guess I'm going to lose all my money in Miami. Convince me. <laughs> <laughs> the ticket is kind of expensive, though. Five bucks. I don't know yeah, if I can handle that. Lot. That's a lot. I have to emergency in stick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> please do. Please do. <laughs> By Shitcoin Foundation? Who? The, what the hell is this? See, uh, see, who, see who they have speaking right now. I want to see who they have speaking. <laughs> oh, there's a oh, lot. Jesus, there's a yeah. lot. Ken Bosak, I know that guy. Yeah, um, yep, NFT guy. We've seen Big him. Big Connect. Big the Connect? aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> the more infamous. <laughs> uh, Hold on, the crypto well, show. There's, there's some people I, I know and recognize. Yeah, there's, there's some, there's some decent names in there. And then Pirate chain. Pirate chain. <laughs> get RG three. Uh, yeah, we gotta get some hexagons <laughs> in here, man. Maybe I'll go talk. Just hop on the stage yeah, uninvited. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> just like no, steal I, the I think, mic. I, I think I think we have invites. Like pretty much any of the hex the, um, uh, hex influencers that want to go speak can. It's fake Satoshi there. Possibly. No. I don't know. No, even he doesn't get an invite. No, no, to he, he, he can't be there. No, <laughs> what is this? Oh, the <laughs> space. The flying Dorita. 
This is what DC actually went to try to go purchase the other day. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not buying it. <laughs> uh. Their website, the shitcoin.com website, is like not even a website. Well, it, oh, here we go. It, it, I guess it is a shitcoin conference, so. <laughs> It's a shit right website. There. They're just trying to <laughs> gather all the plebs together and steal all your keys. <laughs> Here it is, guys. Kimbo Sag, Jack yeah. Conan. Oh, Miss Teen Crypt. I've heard of her. Uh, I've seen her. Sam Tripoli. I definitely know that guy. Miggy, Token Gamer. I, I don't know a lot of these people. I, guys, I, I just, I just like looking at the. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to be Chuck Norris for a second. I got excited. Yeah, right. I wish. What's the other conference that you, uh, you're you going to? Uh, coffee? Like you and Gary might be going to a Miami conference, something like that? Yeah, it's a rebel capitalist. It's like a, more of an entrepreneurship thing. It's not like, really like crypto specific. Oh, okay. Kiyosaki, like a bunch of real estate guys and uh, just yeah. entrepreneurial kind of stuff. That sounds cool, though. Yeah, yeah it should be a, fun, a lot of fun. Um. Yeah, guys. Well, here's the lineup for Shitcoin 2021. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> and crypto coffee. We paint the hangs. Nice. All right. Well, that was I didn't know about that at all. Cool. Hey guys, um, what do you think of the what? What do you think price is gonna do? Hey, up, up, like soon. up only. Yeah. Up to the right. Like Probably. never dip, never, never dip. dip. It, it goes yeah. from a bag of nickels to a bag of dimes to a bag of quarters to a 50 cent piece to that stupid dollar coin that they give you at the post office that no one wants. Susan B. Anthony's. And then it just goes to fucking Saturn after that. <laughs> yeah. When he announces Sac the, the biggest, maybe Sacagaweas. <laughs> I want my, <laughs> I want my Sacagaweas. Come and get them. God, those coins are useless. So, <laughs> Oh, cool, we almost touched a new all-time high again. Nice. Oh, nice. Man, we are That's just so. playing with that. So, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So when it's one dollar, you're going to, at some point. You're going to have fluctuations, just now, like we have now with cents. You will have fluctuations with dollars. <laughs> that will be funny. <laughs> End of ten, year. Ten cent mark right here. Have you guys seen that um, stream with uh, Mitch Ray? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That was a good that one. That was good, man. Like that, that was solid. Shout out to uh Marco. Um yeah, he Marco, orchestrated yeah. all that with the super chat. So he yeah, put that was the super cool, chat man. out, reached out to Richard and orchestrated all that stuff on the fly. So that was really cool. Yeah, that was a lot. That was really awesome. Yes, sir. Good evening, Crypty Girl. Hello. My friend Annalise, the BTC Queen, is throwing the shit coin. Oh, she's putting that on. Cool. Nice. Um, yeah. I didn't even I didn't know she was behind it. It's hilarious the name. Um, I love that we're just owning it. <laughs> like, fuck maximalism. Yeah, of course. I agree. Um, so cool, cool, I wish cool. I had friends. <laughs> Maybe one day, Markable. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe what's when your, X one dollar. Let your X bags <laughs> swell up. <laughs> you have a lot of friends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that that little yellow arrow is at 10 cents right now and it doesn't really look like that far to go you know it, it, it used to look like a long way like it used yeah. to be like oh my god and now it's like oh we're, we're pretty much gonna get there and <laughs> also look at this chart <laughs> look at it look at it it just <laughs> ladders <laughs> up into the right i swear just to god would you, would you look at it did you look at that? Oh, no. look, at just look at it. <laughs> you clearly haven't looked at it yet. Dude, look at it. Would you look at it? <laughs> just look at it. What are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, people look at just this look one at and it. then I show them the version it's one chart this. and they're like, holy shit. The, the show is just the, uh, this for an hour. <laughs> yeah. This is only <laughs> everyone just fucking hates us. <laughs> <laughs> we slowly lose followers. <laughs> it just starts dropping off. See how long we could go until no There is watching. no way we're going to get drop off in viewers if we just have this just, on and say would you look at this would you look at that just look at that just look have some this. background music and say, <laughs> <laughs> and say, hey, would you look at that <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way people um like this stream now 
like and subscribe Agreed. hulk smash the like uh what if there was a stream where we just like read the price out loud verbally like every two seconds we can try it we could do it we could do be... a trial run <laughs> <laughs> on your channel <laughs> it's not moving there we, we got to get an auction house like 6.2 6.2 6.3 i got 6.3 from the gentleman over right here oh 6.5 Woo! <laughs> sold <laughs> Uh, Dude, the, the the price of hex moves way too slowly for that. <laughs> like you will have minutes where you just stay the same price over and over again. Yeah. No, we can all we can all just start buying each other's bags and selling each other's yeah. bags on stream, so we can <laughs> just to make the show our, yeah or auction. It'd be great. The haters are the way, ones pushing the price up. Some whale comes in and wrecks all of us. <sighs> that would be funny content though. <laughs> if we get wrecked on stream. <laughs> hey, Motley, By the way. What's up? That um that ETH that I got from you yep. the, the other day. And I I promise you I'll put it right in hex. Yeah. Right when the breakout happens. So that, that was that's awesome. Good, so. I'm <laughs> glad to hear it. <laughs> Can you make it happen right now? Just just go ahead and make it. Mark it by. Give like it another the, yeah. He already bought. Like he another bought. all them high. He, yeah, he I already he, bought this. He's, oh, riding, okay, the, he's riding the pump right now. But, he, uh, bought, was, he bought before the pump. What I was thinking pump. two days ago or no, yeah, two days ago, I was thinking, dude, that was the first time that I got paid in crypto by doing something, like to give work in exchange instead of just having a transaction. That was the first time I ever got paid in crypto. That was yeah, it's kind of cool, man. It's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> pretty, That's pretty a cool achievement experience. unlocked. It's yeah, got, it's it's a it's a lot easier than what it used to be just to facilitate everything just like yeah i'll send you some eth you know or send you whatever and whatever it is paying for services or you owe somebody something just like it's nice yeah he he can oh, yeah. he can track he could track it back and look at my wallet if he wants to because i didn't <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't switch it around but uh yeah yeah hey, you could um hopefully one day you'll be able to just like pay for real estate and cars and real life stuff with crypto um it's just so much more efficient, but everybody has to have it first. So right. you need mass adoption. How do you get to mass adoption? Uh, people have to get on board. Yes. How do they get on board? Uh, number go up. The only reason people get into crypto is because they think number is going to go up. So it's like you sneak attack them with the mad gains into the financial revolution. Like, oops. Yeah. <laughs> now you're rich. Now you're rich and you have a new financial system. Great. You're smarter. Hey, uh, get that uh, <laughs> super chat up before you lose it. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Simon, Super chat, uh, Simon. Sauna. Thank yep. you, sir. Any chance haters will copy hex? Oh, yes, do I have a story for you? <laughs> well, 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 Simon. Several do times. I, do Several I have times. a tale for you, sir? Come sit uh, here with Grandpa. Oh, uh, Simon, Simon, <laughs> Simon. <laughs> you have much, much you to have learn. Much to learn. Yeah. <laughs> we should, we should like pull up their charts, but like block out their name. <laughs> I don't think death. I can do that. But uh, yeah, yeah no, so yeah. hex has been copied um, a couple times and to no avail didn't work out very well how, how does that work because i know he's got a copyright on it right so is it just for the source code or the front end that they change because i know that there is a couple of clones but it's not like exactly right looks like the idea has been copied but i don't think the virality okay. will ever be i don't think the yeah. amount of virality will ever be matched just due to the the pure force like of, of the community basically right. and then all the marketing all the branding the yeah, the actual advantage. design yeah, it, it turns All out that. when some of these copycats, when they tweak the design, they actually make it worse. So even if it was like, yeah, even if they, <laughs> they can't really you know, make it better. I'm gonna try yeah. to make this Coca Cola taste a little better, and they got Pepsi, and it's like, eh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasabi's yeah. talked about that all the time. It's like, why would you, why would you buy the inferior product? Just get the name brand every time. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's only, there's only one place clones go, and that's, that's the graveyard. <laughs> so many yeah. times in crypto. Just, but uh, I'm sure we might see a new one, you know, pop oh, up in the future. Oh, yeah, so just because it's happened said, before. Yeah. When this thing keeps launching in price, there's gonna be all these, uh, shit clones coming out. To try to get some traction, it fails every single time. I can't. I can't <laughs> wait to see him. I can't wait. Yeah. Markable's better twin brother. <laughs> is that actually your brother? Or is that someone that just made that? That would no, be that's just someone who made that. That's pretty it's, awesome. It's, it's five, <laughs> it's five a.m. here. There's no way someone. Uh, is. <laughs> oh my gosh! 
that's thanks fun. for hanging out with us. That's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's why no, I was a bit later. No, I got that's not his brother. Before. That's a random. <laughs> I've never seen random. Markable Super Chat. Well, uh, you're doing it for me. I'm on stream. I don't need to do the Super Here chat. he is, guys. I the can man, just say the, the legend. <laughs> this is Markable Thoughts. Reveal. <laughs> There yeah, that was the no, lower right corner, lower left corner. <laughs> that was the that was the cool part on uh, DC's stream with you, where you were talking about your twin and how it's kind of hard not to be like compared to your genetic clone. <laughs> yeah, man, it's um, it's a really interesting dynamic, and I just recently I found out that, like, yeah, one and a half years ago or something, I recently just figured out a, a subtle thing in my mind or a subtle thing that that I do as a habit in my life that's that's only been created because I'm a twin. So I, how do I say this? Like in a, a lot of things in life, I would not try to do something just because the, the, the subtle chance of me failing and my brother being better. And so then you have another point to compare me with him. So when he would, Let's say he would he would go swimming, for example, as a sport. I would go boxing or whatever. I would do something else so that I wouldn't be able to lose to him hmm. because then you, you kind of have the same person um, doing something and then he might be better. And that, that's and so I, I brought that into my entire life through all kinds of things where I just, I just couldn't care anymore about things. And um, yeah, and then you just miss opportunities because you don't, you don't take the chances that you can take. But even so even if your brother there, is right? not in crypto, is your brother not in crypto because of you? Oh, he's following me. So, oh, yeah. so you're yeah. wi you're winning this round. So, <laughs> so you're winning. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah sure. you got it first. Yeah. So you win. Oh shit! Hey, hey, hey! Well, uh, see crypto. Thank Man, you so much, dude. Holy Puzzling. shit! That's a good one. Wow. Um, thanks, man. I'm going to Vegas. You guys going to Vegas? Going to Vegas. Hell yeah! No. I'll see you there, bro. It's gonna be a blast. I wanted to go. Way too far for me. You already went. Yeah. You suck. Uh, <laughs> I also don't. Was I, I know are you going? Yeah, I'm going. Okay, just making sure. Nice, <laughs> man. Hell yeah. I'll do it. Now I want to go, man. <laughs> like, you you are the we'll man, bro. You in. I don't think I can even get into the states. That's why I said we'll smuggle you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good idea. I'll just swim to you. I'll, All right. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll pick you up in a yeah. naval vessel. Yeah. There's some Vegas hype. That's I'll a good be, idea, man. <laughs> I'll be riding around in a nice, you know, maybe a limo of some sort. Yep. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Um, oh, yeah. yeah the, the Hex to Bitcoin oh. pair is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it up. I'm oh, fine, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, remarkable. Oh. Just do you, bro. <laughs> They, the I, chat's I figured that market. thing out now, and now and now it's uh, it's way better. But it's like a subtle thing, right? Right. The, yeah. the thing that you, you only figure out. Yeah. We're right. doing it at the time. Yeah. But once you know, you know, and then it's fine. This guy wants to interview all of us. In interesting. Would love we to see. interview. Would love. You all. <laughs> Not <laughs> just the two. That weird too, weird right? emphasis. <laughs> <laughs> out of all those words, you chose two. <laughs> You just bring the microphone and uh, let's make sure I, I'm relatively sober and yeah, it'll oh be good. Oh God, yeah. Not, nothing, <laughs> nothing while under the influence. Yeah. I could be, uh, be on the internet for a long time. <laughs> Crypto says have a blast. We will. We will. Thank you. Thanks. For oh yeah. So uh, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for allowing us. <laughs> uh, look into crypto. You got a sweet, sweet chart for us. Uh, we can definitely look at chart? that chart? beautiful chart. That's that why I'm here. Hex chart, yeah. Give me some chart, baby. Man. See crypto YouTube dropping. Are oh, you making your own channel? Nice, cool, sweet, bro. Can't wait to uh, do the rounds of pass you around to all the all the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought you'd say that one before, huh? <laughs> Only here at the round table. Hey, hey yeah, I, coffee. There will not be sloppy seconds. <laughs> What's up, Mike? I'm gonna yeah. grab some coffee. Yeah. Just, okay, uh, thanks for letting me know. I allow it. Who's <laughs> grabbing coffee? <laughs> Nobody what? grabs coffee without my permission. <clears throat> no, don't. You will get wrecked. All time highs. So if Damn, you allow, 
If you'll focus on the screen right here, we've actually have support, which is fucking weird. This is uh, this is by far the most ridiculous chart. I've just how yeah. crazy this thing is. Just this is a fucking rocket right now. Mm. So just to just to clarify, those that actually bought prior to to the left of the screen line, so on this side of the price chart, uh, they take this multiple. They take this gain here, so that's a five point, uh, five point, basically a five x times two from the big payday bonus. So it's pretty mind blowing to think how high this thing has. This thing has already far exceeded what I thought was going to be. Um, at least in the short term on the hex to Bitcoin pair, but this could still keep not the golden chart, going. Guys. not the golden not, chart, not the golden chart, not the golden chart, but this is still nonetheless a very good chart. This is this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, if you denominate your stake or app in terms of Bitcoin, you're just destroying the performance, you're just overall just gaining more, more stats. <laughs> That's so poor, nice. Poor Bitcoin yeah. is getting absolutely wrecked. I mean, yeah. when the Ethereum Alan, flipping, happened, yeah. yeah. When the Ethereum flipping happens, it's going to blow some minds. And Shitcoin 2021 might be the biggest conference in the world. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, people are going to have to cope with the fact that their favorite coin that they got rich on is not going to be the one that gets other people rich anymore. It's like new, we're, we're on to new things. Like, yeah. you're not right. new people getting into Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You make a 2X and move on with your day, but you're not buying Bitcoin at a dollar ever again. Yeah. What do you what do you think the Maxi's narrative will be for the reasoning why Bitcoin's no longer number one, even if it's for a short period of time? Like they're gonna scams they, pump they the hardest, bro. Something. Scams pump yeah. the hardest. Or the, or, money. the or the market cap is a vanity measure. Like they take Richards saying all all the time. Like I think we market know it's cap a doesn't matter. Metric. That's the yeah. whole point of hacks is to prove it's a fucking vanity metric. Well, it's Bitcoin's like... <laughs> are, Bitcoin's okay with it while they're number one, but I guarantee you when they're number two, it's like, oh, that shit doesn't matter. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> We don't yeah, care. Yeah. The market's gonna have a shit fit when that happens, man. They're not gonna be able to like can't wait. believe their eyes when when the flipping does happen. And when it does, it's gonna be so glorious to say, like I told you so, and, and that the better technology won, and then you're gonna yeah. see other stuff, you know, flip that possibly. So and not even yeah, and not even better, but just like a multi-chain world where things can coexist with right. each other. Like that's right. okay, guys. Right. That's, and some things are better, genuinely. Like I think hex is better than a lot of stuff, but it doesn't mean that you know, Ethereum, I like Ethereum. Like I like Bitcoin totally. too, but let's not just act like, you know, because I got rich on this coin, fuck everything else. And you're an idiot for even trying to, to buy. Yeah, that's it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of crazy that we're actually potentially going to see this flipping in this cycle. I think that's awesome. Yeah. yeah I, I thought I it might take another out. cycle. Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced it's going to play out this cycle because yeah, the indeed. Ethereum, I, th I think Motley's right. It's the first one's going to be Ethereum that does it. Because this has been in a very steady, even even if the market goes bare for a while, it just means Ethereum may just pull back into its channel for a little bit. But it's it's coming. The, the growth, the growth is there on the price chart. So I think once uh, once Ethereum does it, it's it's going to really damage the the reputation for Bitcoin long term. Even if it's not sustained, uh, which it likely won't be to start, because there's going to be traders that step in that take that take that trade. Uh, it does. It very clearly questions the whole narrative around uh, digital gold or something. And honestly, that can get that can get memes in uh, in a pretty bad way for Bitcoin. Because if you look at the ten year performance of gold, it's underperformed inflation. So it's like we're <laughs> we're the, we're digital we're digital gold, and then the asset gold has done absolutely terrible last yeah. ten years. And then you, and then you look at Bitcoin's relative performance. Uh, even if you just basically lasted up until this point with uh, an above average coin, you would have outperformed Bitcoin by a lot. This bull market. That's really so funny. Far. It's like Bitcoin's digital gold. Okay, great. How's gold doing? Like shit. Oh, yeah. you really want digital gold, <laughs> or do yeah. you want the digital CD or the digital oil or like the digital lumber? You know, mm -hmm. uh, Paladin YYZ. So, what's the problem with sacrificing all your stake tax? Really quick, just for any newbies here. Do not, do not emergency end stake your hex. You're gonna you lose it all. Can't sacrifice stake hex. Yeah, yeah, you you, you, you can't sacrifice. Stake. Yeah, you can't sacrifice it. If you try to, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, you're locked in when you when you stake your hex. You're you're locked in. Hmm. You can't get out. I mean, you can get out with a heavy penalty a little bit later on, but it's a very heavy penalty, and and sometimes it's a 100% penalty. So. 
uh, Paladin, yeah. you can o- you can only stake Liquid Hex. But thank you for the tip, man. Appreciate if it. If you want, if you want to see what the penalty is, just download Staker.app and it'll and put your Ethereum address in there, and you'll be able to see all your stakes, and it'll show you how much you'll lose if you emergency and stake it. So you have an idea of what you're doing before you do it. So just realize that you're yeah. going to lose that amount of money if yeah. you instake early. Well, yeah, and and you're going to get a copy anyways, right? When the actual snapshot happens. So especially if you've got stuff that's really long out there it doesn't make sense to just and stake that and, and forego some of your interest like yeah. just find some extra capital and yeah. put that into the sacrifice yeah you still um, want those stakes because they're going to be duplicated so it's a good thing that you have stake tax um you just can't you really use it for pulse armando uh hex is on coin market cap it's just manually gate kept on page three 201 spot and it, if you look on there, they don't even have Hex's market cap correct, but even its incorrect market cap at like 8 billion last I checked is far greater than the token uh, at 200 spot, which is like 350 yeah. million. So it's, it's so been funny. manually held in the same spot since like the conception of Hex. It's such blatant gatekeeping that even with their misprinted version of the market cap, it should right. still be like a top 50. Way higher. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's now, how bad now they even are. with their, yeah, even they, they haven't even updated it. Go, go look at it. Cap. It's, it's been at two hundred one since like the conception. Coin, coin market cap. We're so big three. now. You're gonna have to slash our our market cap even more. If you're if you're watching, make sure you have your guy <laughs> go in there and manually make manually the number adjust low. it. <laughs> it will be it will be funny when you have um, pulse hex and then they have. Uh, Normal hex and then pulse hex on the yeah, 201 the and 202. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. Man. It'd be cool if they did. They didn't know about pulse hex and they didn't manually gatekeep it and it just like rushed up to the top. All of a sudden, that would be amazing. Actually, like what the fuck is pulse hex or p hex? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, you're going to get a lot of that. Like, what is this? Yeah, it's like oh uh, yeah, Free it's, it's been here for a while. Nah, you see, I, you're, you're getting some critique on your form, bro. <laughs> Well, I was, I, was done, I was done doing those those things, and then I just my Twitter was blowing up with people like bullshit didn't happen, no video, no it didn't happen. Maybe maybe fake and stuff. Yeah, show that, you how it's yeah. done. He can kind of oh, like yeah. I do. You showed them a video. Honestly, I was, I was a little uh, tired. Honestly, yeah, I didn't the, that video. All right, the form, the form was a little rough, but I I, <laughs> I didn't yeah. say anything. You caught me at the end of my workout, bro. But like I still work. <laughs> I, I was doing I was doing, a, I was doing five by twelves. You can redeem yourself next week. How about that? Yeah, we need a fresh video with better form. Yeah. Now you know. It's funny, though. I do find the guys, the foreign police, but these happen to be usually the weakest dudes, too. It's kind of right, bro, thank you. You're, 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 you're always it doesn't it. take away that your uh, form was bad. Form. Yeah. Agreed. Yo, Paladin, five, thank you for the tip, for the $5 tip. Uh, yes, you are absolutely correct in that. Your understanding is right. Your hex has to be liquid and really preferably in MetaMask. I strongly recommend MetaMask. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a good wallet. So what thanks other for the wallet? Tip, bro. W- well, there's have? a lot. There's like, you can use Exodus like is coin, a good, like, Coinbase wallet, wallet. But yeah. Co- yeah. There's, I don't want to, because I don't know for sure. I get that there um, are more wallets. I just think, if is there a better one than MetaMask? I prefer no. MetaMask. Yeah, right. It's pretty. No. Simple I also it. prefer them to do an airdrop, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, while while making coffee, I heard you guys talking about Bitcoin. It's gonna be such a good meme, dude. I'm I'm looking what? forward to Bitcoin. It's going to be a good meme. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be it's like gonna the be blockbuster. Fun. Yeah, remember when like, Bitcoin <laughs> was the thing? It will be the blockbuster. Remember when Pokemon cards were a thing? Remember when Beanie Babies? I miss face. Blockbuster. <laughs> I yeah. do miss Blockbuster. I'm going to miss Bitcoin fun. when it's gone. Yeah. Yep. It's like the DSL. <laughs> we had a good run. <laughs> Take All it out to the shack and uh, yeah. put the shotgun in between its eyes. Put it down. Uh, Hex is like you the see, fiber. You, you need more German creatine, bro. <laughs> Not the American <laughs> creatine, but the uh, German one. Uh, what's going on? UFO. Oh, we got a UFO in the house. Regarding end stakes, Staker shows the worth of the stake. Yeah, if you go to Staker app, it'll show you exactly how much you'll lose by unstaking. It's a, it's only, yeah, it's almost never a good idea. What else we got? Does does the value of every duplicated token uh-huh. on Paul start at zero? That's a good question. Who wants to take that? 
the didn't Richard mention that they'd like buy up the liquidity to where there wasn't like that arbitrage? Like, but, sure, there will still be like price discovery, but somehow they like redistribute the liquidity to the pool or something like that. Potentially, mm -hmm. so like if you're a liquidity provider, you would actually potentially get more pulse for like say your Ethereum side on the liquidity, and they would buy up the ERC twenty, but. That hasn't been confirmed, just like everything else. Like, <laughs> I can't wait yeah, for the that's stream true. that Richard actually releases, like, the launch date for the sacrifice phase because he's literally just going to have to explain, like, every parameter in that entire stream. Probably yeah. Get, probably get, like, a six or eight hour stream as he explains sacrifice phase. Yeah. So you might not get a 10,000 to 1 ratio if you had a liquidity pool open on Uniswap, but you might get some in between amount because we don't just want to give a one for one ratio to those guys because. It's a you know, then dash some, for those and it's whale party. It's yeah, yeah, it's just a big orgy trying to get it. In there, like, <laughs> let me get that. Yeah, let me get that uni swap on on pulse chain. Just yeah, running for that shit. Yeah, so uh, so somewhere in the middle is going to be a sweet spot, and it, but there will be price discovery early on. But to make it less volatile, they they do want to reward uh, liquidity providers that put up yep. Ethereum <clears throat> with a higher a higher value of pulse, like a higher uh, multiplier of pulse token. So TBD, that's my favorite. That's my phrase of the day. Mm. Uh, Bitcoin is old yeller. Uh, yep. For Solgy, I used to work at Blockbuster. Cool, cool. <laughs> Would you get fired? Just kidding. <laughs> Damn, that's rough. Yeah. That's <laughs> rough, dude. <laughs> Be nice to Brizology, damn it. I love you. I love you, Brizology. I love you, bro. Uh, Brizology is like the protected species <laughs> of, of Hex. <laughs> like, don't fuck with him. <laughs> Spaceman says, thoughts on LT scaling solutions. Well, we don't need them if, you know, L1 is... that. That's the point, right? How would it affect pulse chain adoption? Oh, you mean like in competition? Well, I think personally I've used some L2 solutions and it's not easy because you have a scenario where you either need the ent entire ecosystem to move on to L2 or you have this weird bridging thing where people are going back and forth. And if your coin actually does something on layer one, you're going to have to bridge back in order to use it on layer one. So you're still going to pay fees back and forth and try explaining that to a new user oh i think God. l1 is the best way to get a, a high user experience you know method of, of cheap and fast transactions and maybe it'll take load off of ethereum too so you know l2 things have been tried a lot i've seen a lot of them come and go i mean even like raiden on ethereum that was a like a lightning trash. implementation yeah trash it was a lightning network implementation on ethereum i think uh and it, it's not doing so hot and it's just really, really hard to do these L2 solutions. So they sound good and they do work, some of them, but I've never seen them one work smoothly. And I think L1 can kind of beat it to the punch, you know? With yeah. proof of stake. Yeah. Like it, it's just, it's easier, right? Like if you don't have a good UI and you don't have easy like adoption when it comes to actually operating this stuff, like you're not going to get new users on. Like layer yeah. two is such yeah. a pain in the ass for new users. Like they're not going to yeah. come over like that. That Black shit Wing. when I was going through it. I I Blackwing Black Wing yes. Black kind of nailed it there. You yeah. would still have to pay fees to get on and yeah. off. Yeah. Right? So there's, you yeah. still get there's pegged as well. <laughs> you, know, you get pegged either way. I thought you liked yeah. that DC. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what pissed me off about Matic. And then of course, and I, people were having withdrawing problems for Matic as well. Yeah, yeah, and I, honestly, I don't trust Matic for shit, dude. I don't know. I just got this bad feeling about it, man. Some, Be somebody's careful. Who's up with the other L2, dude? Their L2 is weird, dude. You can get stuck yeah. on there. Buggy, dude. It's buggy, and like five guys own the keys, which means yeah, probably one guy. Probably one guy yeah. owns all the keys. Five guys with um, different names. They're all, yeah. they're all, they're all <laughs> yeah. the team from India. Joe, Jim, Bob, Jeff. <laughs> hey, yeah, some guy nuked like 400K USD of hacks yesterday. I feel bad. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Hello. I'll take it, yeah. man. All day, baby. Diamond oh, hands. here we go. What do you think Shit. the hex per T share uh, is going to be over the sacrifice phase? I think we'll see like some maybe like seven, eight, because like right now we got like six point mm. one one. I think we might see like anywhere between like six to ten hex per T share during the sacrifice phase. I could see a lot of people. Oh, I, I, think I, I think it's the price per T share in dollars. What's that? You, well, no, what, no, the, 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 the payout, the payout. Oh payout my God. Yeah. The payout's going to increase like crazy. It's going yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. to be real nice that month. I've heard. So I'm not going to say who's in emergency unstaking a lot. I'm not going to say who though, but I know he's in, he's in this room right now. Remarkable. Uh, 
<laughs> we got we got somebody talking about the idea of why proof of work is so important and proof of stake is is bad. I don't think so, man. I think proof of stake has been great. Theory. It's secured. Yeah, well, it's it's uh, basically in proof of work, it, it is wasteful, and proof of stake has been proven to be fine. Like, mm. there's proof of stake networks that are running that no one's attacking. You know, Binance Smart Chain. I mean, that's a bad example, right? It's centralized, but it, there's a there's a concept of decentralized enough, right? So it's like you have enough nodes where no one's going to take it down. Um, proof of stake is way better because it uses less electricity. And in order to attack it with a 51% attack, you'd have to have 51% of the tokens. You're, so you're, just pay, you're paying <laughs> proof of work is just paying the fucking people that can attack you. Like, here you go. Don't attack me. Like Richard's talking. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 just, it's way it's more just a racket. <laughs> you need proof way more. Work, work is pretty proof stupid. of work. You're paying a protection yeah. racket. And yeah, it, it was important as like an innovation, I believe. Yeah, but early on, I think proof of stake came as a, you know, an enhancement to that. And I think we should adopt, some implementation of proof of stake going forward. Hey, yo, hey, you, you, want, you want to hear some crazy shit? Well, actually, no, no, no. I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep that. He Hex is DC, on, like that, that right? No, DC. Hyrule you got to do it. On the, on the sidewalk. Yeah, quit teasing us. Completely cracked out and just saying, hey, you want to hear something interesting? <laughs> you, you, you want to get into this alley? I will tell you a story. You want drugs? You want you want some drugs? I got everything. Man. Oh, don't don't destroy drugs and alcohol. <laughs> all right, DT, <laughs> you right. just wanted to say something. He did yeah, this stuff when, when we were on stream yeah, as well. He said stuff and then <laughs> and he didn't I want to say that. it. Like, I watched that stream. You say it, DC. <laughs> what? Yo, big um, the United States. If you if you look what the United States is passing right now in terms of laws and everything with the Green New Deal and all this stuff and everything, there's there's allocations for chip manufacturers. There's subsidies for them. So what's what's going on right now, at least for the proof of work, uh, if you notice how China had just started banning uh, mining in China, right? Well, the United States is ramping up their mining of Bitcoin. Mm. So Peter Thiel, the whole PayPal mafia, that includes Elon Musk as well, are getting a ton of subsidies in the new green deal. And uh, one sixth of all the money from that deal is actually going to Tesla alone. Another big part of it is, um, uh, um, what's his name? Um, Peter Thiel is getting a huge amount of money for the solar panels he's, he's building out in Texas. Well, in the, well, that solar panel factory or that solar, pa solar panel area, the largest, um, I think it's, I think it might be the, the largest solar panel, solar panel uh, generating area and stuff for solar power in the United States is going to be Bitcoin mining. So they're, what they're doing, what they're really doing, what's going on right now is the United States is pivoting towards actually Bitcoin mining and probably starting to take over the, um, the you know, the hash rate. For Bitcoin, so that's a good thing for the Bitcoiners, I guess. That's why I'm pretty well, confident. Once that once that starts turning online, we'll we'll eventually get the Bitcoin ETF, which is good for the price. So that's why I'm I'm still bullish because we're probably going to get that sometime in 22. So yeah, so, I, mean, I think Bitcoin is going to pump hope, again. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to die, hope. but I think yeah, it's hopium for sure. But like other things are going to continue to surpass it. I mean, it's good politically. Oh, no, of course, of course. You know, it's good. It's good politically for America. I don't know if that's good for Bitcoin, right? It's like oh. Now we're, we're kind of changing hands, right? But it's still an old proof of work chain system. Right. Uh, I mean, people hate it. People hate you want, the bash Chinese you want the Chinese government to have control of it or the United States? I mean, I mean, we're talking yeah. about two shitty houses. I mean, yeah. like, I know, just but like this, but this, house has a, <laughs> this house has like a monster truck in front of it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like a classic monster yeah. truck. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mean to like bash Bitcoin, right? But it is important for Bitcoin to exist. But I think, you know, people used to say that if Bitcoin dies, everything dies. And it's like, well, first of all, yeah, There's if Bitcoin no dies, way. but I think Bitcoin can lose importance relative to other coins, yep. right? I think it can lose. I don't think it will ever die. I think it'll be around forever, but I think it will lose. It'll, it'll decouple. Long, the narratives will decouple, right? It'll lose more and more importance as the cycles go on, I think. Yeah. I want this recorded so, in time. So when that Bitcoin ETF I mean, comes out and stuff, I, I want you to know who told you. Yeah, but, but do you really think Bitcoin is going to ever come back to like 90% dominance? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, right. So that that's what like that's what like Max is thinking. It's like, oh, Bitcoin's gonna, you know, yeah. I think Bitcoin might stabilize around thirty to forty percent dominance, maybe a little bit lower, and then other shit will, you know, have its time in the limelight. You know, technology has a, a curve of adoption, and it goes in and it, it fades out. You know, one day, a hundred years from now, hex might fade out, but you, you guys, hopefully. AOL still exists right now. AOL. Yeah, right, right. That's what I mean. It's like, yeah, Mastercoin. I think you can still trade like. Feather coin, or you can still trade like BitConnect token for like a fraction of what it was, right? Things don't actually die; they Bitcoin just get ruined. Yeah, everyone go go buy that. That's how it goes. Just, Look just into crypto, it. please chart BitConnect. 
No, I'm joking. Don't do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's deleted actually off. Of, oh yeah. It's actually really hard to. Oh, do. I could. I remember you. You tried yeah. once, I think, on on a stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I, I agree with Funny like way. basically the <clears throat> the points coffee has on the tech adoption part. Um, just there's better. There's just better solutions that exist in the market today. Like Bitcoin, sure, it had its. It gave birth to this whole space, which is cool and all, but um, technology <laughs> is is. It, it goes out and kills like at some point something better comes along and yeah you know it takes cycles though it takes time I'm trying to yeah, trying to refrain from a a bad abortion joke right now with Bitcoin. we got we, you, know, you know you know why i'm not worried about china because we got you a foe shaped like dorito chip <laughs> yeah bro why don't you pull up the uh tech specs for that dorito again yeah this like straight legit <laughs> well, i got receipt, i got a on dorito chip yeah, uh, sweet dude. I want to see that that little Dorito. You think it's Cool Ranch or more of like a spicy nacho? I, I, I hope it's a Cool say, Ranch. Extra cheesy. Cool Ranch is better. <laughs> cool Ranch is the no, OG. Molly? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Molly, like, okay, no, don't even start. Don't you know start. What? Dorito, the Dorito Tapatio is the best. Nah, it's good. It's good. Not better than Cool Ranch. Man, Motley, you're under, you're, you're sus right now. Sus. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Sus. Right. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. What's your favorite Dorito? Tapatio or Spicy Nacho, would you say? I guess uh, Spicy Nacho just because it's classic, but I, but I would honestly, I like I like the Tapatio one better just because it's more flavor. Nah. What correct. about Takis, guys? Trash. Ta 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 Takis are good. Takis are good. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's like you have too many. It's a, a, it's a lot. Like a whole bag's a lot. <laughs> yeah. You never want to eat a whole bag, guys. That's a lot. <laughs> Half bag yeah. tops. Never go full bag. Never retail. go full bag. <laughs> yeah. This is having a triangular hole with a vertical ele wait, electrostatic line charges in each corner. The line charges creates a horizontal electrical field that together with the plane wave emitted by the antennas on the side of the hole generates a fourth per bullshit. volume, providing unique combination of both lift and propulsion. Whoa. Yeah. That yeah. sounds Whoa. like no. that that sounds like a white paper of some 2017 ICO. Bullshit shit coin. Invest in the Dorito today, guys. <laughs> so where do I where do I invest? Where do I? Money? I'm going. I'm going to fork Bitcoin. And I'm going to call it Bitcoin Triangle, and it's gonna work. Invest Bitcoin in the Dorito, UFO. Dorito Bitcoin UFO. UFO. <laughs> U really UFO token. Funny. That's a perfect uh, ticker symbol. People will buy that. Like people yeah. will buy anything. I'm pretty sure we've proven that. At like, this point. Yeah, but especially <laughs> UFO. Like some crazy people will will go all in in that. I, I which still like which me? Yeah, what? <laughs> I like your idea of safe USD. I think. <laughs> I think we. Yeah, I it. I want safe USD <laughs> to be the first stable coin on uh, no, on Pulse Chain, man. That, that's th gonna... There was actually an idea for a stable coin on Pulse Chain the other day. It was uh... yeah, but please call it safe USD. Just 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 to please me, that would be nice. <laughs> just, okay, okay. Just like, let people so everyone know everyone knows it's, it's safe. So, yeah, yeah. So, but it's double safe. That's what I try to explain to people. Like, people trust the USD so much they think it's safe. And then it's double save because they're safe in front of it. Double That's why save. it's safe here. So it's double save. It's double, <laughs> double the save, double the safeness. So much safety. There's That's so actually much too much safety. I don't want that much safety. It's, I'm open, too much. It, for it's me. like it's like having two condoms. All of a sudden, you don't have safety. <laughs> safety. So it's uh, yeah. yeah. Never tried. But that but one. but safety <laughs> will be different. <laughs> Well, I me neither, but they say friction. And stuff. That's what they say. Yeah. They say friction. What? <laughs> <laughs> you never heard that? No. Oh, so it sounds like a bunch of globalist the, propaganda. The thing, <laughs> the thing that I heard, like uh, there was there was a joke of of wanting to have really safe sex, you need to put on two condoms. But then someone told me, well, that doesn't work because then you have friction and then you will have less safety because um, they will, That's they how will force both, fires start. They will both. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and you never want to wear like Trojan thins because those shits always break. Always. Yeah, that sucks. Always. Well, I'm in always. crypto. So don't use I, condoms. I don't, so you don't have to worry about it. I'm in crypto. I don't have sex. I yeah, just sit here. Up. I'm just a streamer, guys. Brand magnums only, bro. Magnums only. <laughs> the brand hammer. 
He's got no. Yo, brand he's hammer gonna only. His, he's gonna have his own brand, his own brand of condoms. Hey, that's <laughs> brand hammer not condoms. a bad idea. Dude, that sounds good. Brand hammer, brand like hammer it. condoms. I'm putting it in chat. So now it's it's forever. Brand hammer condoms. Cover your oh, brand man. hammer. <laughs> no, but, but for real though, you guys, if you, for all my young dudes out there, man, don't don't even fuck around with any of those Trojan thin condoms, man. I've had two accidents with those things, almost, bros. F- no, don't ever buy those pieces of shit condoms. Those are horrible, trash. Have you, tra- have you yeah, tried man. the Have you tried the fire and ice condoms? That shit sucks. Yeah, Wait, you guys have sex. Suck. Dude, they all suck. Like, let's yeah, be real. Sh- yeah, I know. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But that one sucks more than the other. Can, can we just get a consensus <laughs> as men? Like, do condoms do suck? I mean, kind of like for real. Like, let's be for real here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hey, I mean, Hex Kong. Thank you for the tip, bro. Lunch on you. Way Kong. out of that conversation. Thank you. Thanks, Kong. Lunch on you. Thank you, man. I'm going to get Chipotle with condoms? that. <laughs> Kong condoms. Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> the chat the chat the chat's like I use the pull out method. Ba- bear back brand. They're like what the hell? We had all Look at Hold on. Did we hit an all time high? Just yeah, like, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Shoot! did we? Yeah. No, we did not. Well, no, we didn't. If you count the wick, I guess. If you No. Right? You count no. The wick, Mm-mm-mm. No, no, no. Oh, mama. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we did not. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, guy. There, there's no no all time high. Sorry. What is our all time high? Hefty, hefty, hefty. Six, hefty, five, hefty, hefty. six, seven. Like six, you don't even know. You're just eight. you're just pulling out a number right now. Six, six, uh, six, seven, six, seven. <laughs> six, seven sounds good. Yeah, six, seven. <laughs> six, seven. <laughs> six, eight, Sorry, guys, we haven't hit crypto six, coffee's seven. all time yeah. highs yet. Sorry. <laughs> six, four, six, five. Six, Six seven, yeah. The, the all time um, high changes based on how I'm feeling <laughs> in the morning. It's, it's seven six, seven six right seven, now, guys. Six. On my chart, it's seven six. Uh, it's, it is six real, seven. Guys. I already six, seven, see seven. things coming. That I I helped some. Um, I helped a friend of mine get into a hex, and I helped his parents get into a hex. I did a whole mm-hmm. presentation for for them for two hours. Like I'm, I, I, I felt like I'm everything. A, yeah, <laughs> everything, and it's on my it's on my website right now as a uh, just a quick <laughs> explanation of uh, of hex. Yeah, and um, whenever people ask about crypto, I just send them to that thing. And then they learn real quick about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then the bi- biggest opportunity of your lifetime, which is hex. <laughs> just casually uh, slip that in. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> and um, but but it's interesting because I put them, I got them in at one cent. And they are already anticipating that they will be able to sell off the house, which they never thought they would do in their entire lifetime. Sounds and it, awesome. it's, it's amazing, man. They like they already anticipate that. And they, they also have a 15 year stake because I tell everyone at least do one stake for about a thousand bucks or whatever. Just do it. And yeah. um, man, they're they're up so much and they're, they're just happy now. Like, it's good. They're good to enjoying your ride, so I hope everyone oh, has done that shit. as well. God, holy what? shit! <laughs> we got a winner today, boys. Jeez. Maverick, thank you for the ARS 100. I'm not sure what currency that is. All right, uh, hey guys, what oh, do you think? Time to chill. Uh oh, is this is is this what it feels like? All right, uh, wait, DC, team get <laughs> I, I think feed token, if it's a BSC project, I, I don't know. I wouldn't trust it, but I don't know shit about it, so I can't tell you. So what is ARS? God damn it. It's an Argentine peso. Oh, okay. Gotcha. $2. Like <laughs> Man. <laughs> I saw 100. I, I got excited. <laughs> Holy uh, shit. Stop the presses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like- Argentina in the house. Uh, sorry, sorry, Mav. I think uh, feed token. Eh. Don't, I don't know. Don't I, worry. Coffee doesn't doesn't not appreciate your oh. contribution any less. Fuck that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this the same? I'm never seen someone get so excited for hundred dollars. <laughs> Come on, bro. I know your bags you are bigger how, than that. You know <laughs> bro, someone donates hundred bucks. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. that's dope, man. For for, for them, you know, like. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, 
Wait, what do you think what? about if he took? <laughs> this it's is it. kind of a cool. It's kind of cool. Like they're using the money to like help like Whoa. give food to people. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. What's what's happening? Oh, let's they're take playing advantage of people's like good feelings and like, a bunch buy of this crypto. Let's buy see. this crypto and we'll feed people. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Wait, did I just miss that that the the donation was eighty cents? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We, right. figured, we figured it out. That's why we were laughing so hard. I was distracted, <laughs> but I just found out now. So. Hold the wait up. That's funny, dude. And now you have the website on. <laughs> hey, that donation what? went a long way, that's, damn it. That's amazing, dude. Look, this, oh man. I'm also going to to uh, guys go to other people's chats or live streams and and pay them in weird. Like. <laughs> not a bad idea yeah when i when i see a token distribution pie chart like that i usually just run away because yeah i've seen this that is, shit so many times look this, yeah up. look this is so what happens they, 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 get, they get you in with some narrative and then it doesn't do anything like you have to really think maybe the narrative is nice but does it need a token? What is the token going to do? That's the whole trick of 2017. Always. They they always would do interesting things and the, the website would be cool and there will be all kinds of words and you think, oh, this project is amazing. Yeah, starving kids. But then it, cryptocurrency. Exactly. But yeah. you you don't need a token for that. So it won't do anything. So there won't be any like it just donate like real money and it, like real food. Just like, buy hex and stake it. And then you'll be able to pay. It literally says on the page they're dumping ten percent of the supply every month to buy food, which is good. But that buy the food so with cash. Hard. A ton of raise self pressure. Cash. Yeah, they're exactly. Ra they're they're, they're, the they're, just, gonna, they're yeah. just gonna rug like. Yeah, of course. Oh, they're just, yeah. they're just gonna have a perpetual machine for themselves. Yeah. Buy hex, earn the interest, and then donate that if you. Yeah, want to. exactly. But, That's yeah. a way better way. Yeah, do because if everyone games. if everyone buys hex, that that buys feed token. You will get so much more appreciation of the of the price. Plus, everyone will get interest, and then everyone can sell that interest for food if they want to. But um, yeah. yeah. And use the money, you guys. If you guys donate, donate to your local area where, like, some people you can actually change their lives, like that are yeah. near you. You know, like an orphanage, or like you buy a fucking computer wing for a school or something. For, you know, something cool. You know, like do something tight with the money and like. A lot, a lot of a lot of these uh, you have to be so careful with foundations and stuff and all these places that these charities because half the time 70 percent of the money gets eaten up in, a, in administration fees if the money even gets to the people that are donating. yeah yeah exactly Fuck all that plus what yeah guys by the way is it just me or does the 80 cent uh donation stay up like a hundred dollar donation it does yeah I think yeah right does. Because That's it's just the, the amount. Of, it's just nice. a number. YouTube hack. YouTube hack. Yeah. yeah. Found out at the nights, the crypto nights stream. What's the hack? Yeah. What? That's dope, man. All right, donate everything in the weird. What is the lowest, like the worst currency? In the <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. It went off. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, it's on there. Oh no, no. It, it just went off a month. But it stayed for a long time for 80 cents. Interesting. Yeah, so uh pump ARS in them. Two hundred dollars. That's funny, man. I appreciate it. Man. Uh, that is funny. <laughs> pump that Appre shit up. Appreciate the humor, man. That's that's cool. Uh, yeah. Funny. Um <laughs> yeah, there's some guy that thinks we were like hating on Bitcoin. I'm not hating on Bitcoin, dude. Or I'm not hating on proof of work at all. Like it, it works, it's just wasteful. And then there's like proof of stake is not wasteful. It's not, it's not it's hating. It's, it's just being objective. About yeah. What's going on? Well, well, he said stop I, saying it. Proof of work is not secure. Oh, you're, you're, Wait, you're way you're behind in? the chats, bro. Jeez. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, we you're moved like on past that. <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm <laughs> trying to read. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to read everybody's comment. And if proof of stake is actually to read? secure, <laughs> they're both secure. Like proof of work is secure, proof of stake is also secure. Proof of work just wastes a lot more energy. That's my thought. Yeah, it's like both is good, but do you want efficient one or the non-efficient one? Yeah, Germans would say I want the efficient one. So we're going with the Germans. <laughs> Z Germans. Yeah, Z Germans. 
You know, I had a dream one time that I took over Poland and I just and I attacked Germany. <laughs> like I was like, oh, so we were like we were in the we were, yeah, we were one dollar you can. <laughs> we were in the Polish Council, right? I was in the Polish Council in the well, and what are basically what was like the the war room, right? And I what I was doing, I was saying like, you know what? We're gonna get attacked again. Might as well attack first, go down <laughs> swing. So I was like, we sent all the tanks and aircraft, all three helicopters. <laughs> I don't know. I think my chat is like lagging right now. I think I'm yeah, like probably. way yeah. behind. Yeah. Huh. They're saying you, do you guys. Do you guys see like the wrong coffee? <laughs> oh, I see. I see that one. Okay. okay I'm gonna come you're caught, caught up. up. You're caught up. Yeah. I didn't drink any coffee. That was the problem. Crypto Hut. Boris sprung Drak Tenik. Yep. I don't. Yes. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> We're playing Risk. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, all right, chat. I'm not sure what anyone's talking about anymore. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should good, wrap this good up. Good jumping off point. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, hopefully we were able to be somewhat helpful and maybe make you laugh once or twice. Uh, go around the room and show your shit. Motley. Motley, Motley Investor, Twitter, YouTube, and Telegram. Uh, dollar Cost Crypto on YouTube, Twitter, and Crypto Mindset course coming June 10th. Cool. Boom. My turn. <clears throat> sure. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Brent said nope. Skip- no. <laughs> Brent <laughs> Hammer intervenes. Nope. Brand laying the bows nope. down. Nope. The hammer, dude. Uh, <laughs> at least put on a brand hammer before you do that. Nope. Uh, What's well, up? Now I'm waiting for you. Brand Brand laid down the hammer for you. Sorry. No. It's all good. You could uh, you could find me on Twitter, YouTube, look into crypto. Uh, also be streaming with uh, tomorrow at eight. There's a couple of guys actually on the stream that are going to join tomorrow. Uh, oh, DC, yeah. Motley, um, Coffee, you can pop on to if you're around. Um, oh, thanks, man. But uh, yeah, tomorrow at eight o'clock, look into crypto. Check it out. I never get invited, so thank you. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Twitch, YouTube, uh, everything, uh, Ballet at Brand, and I do sh- uh, sh- sh- streams on Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Brand Hammer, time, so. Brand Hammer condoms coming near, <laughs> near store. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Off. I got to get a hookup on that first. Do it, do it. Someone, X- someone in the Hexican community can do it. Yeah. X- you got, you've got your Magnums oh, and then you've got your Brand Hammer. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a garbage bag. It's giant garbage bags. <laughs> Uh, and uh, right. who's this guy below me? <laughs> right, I'm Mark. I have a YouTube channel called The Markable Thoughts where I don't post anything right now, but it will be interesting. I have some ideas. So, um, yeah, Markable Thoughts. And uh, on Twitter, also Markable Thoughts. Yeah. Nice. Cool, man. All right, boys. And we're going to wrap that up. See you on the next one. Wrap it up. Nice. In that hat. Grand Hammer. Later.